Uh, so let's see. Uh-oh, did my chat just completely die? Because usually by now I'd have an answer to that. <laughs> yeah, we are going? Uh-oh. Okay, so they are going. Cool. Uh-oh, Althorn raid. Sweet. In five seconds, they are going. <laughs> what's up, Althorn? How you doing, man? Hey, what's up, Raiders? Hey, what's up, uh... Wow, I almost screwed your name up. <laughs> I almost screwed your name up something terrible. Techie Rock. Wow, I almost said something completely horrible there when I tried to welcome you in. But how you doing? <laughs> I almost screwed your name up so bad. Anyways, welcome in, guys. We're in, uh, literally just starting off this race. Again, apologies for the uh, the lag on Gambit's side. That is probably my end because my Flash is acting like complete crap right now. Uh, so nonetheless, that's most likely my end. Wow, Morag not getting good items here. Vampire heals. That's going to be another reset. There we go again. Uh, Christina won the race. Uh, she won 2-1, to one, Panta. Oh, apparently that isn't good enough for you. It's perfectly fine for me, so, yeah. Every person that comes in is a raid. So, if you're jealous of that, blow it right out your ass, I guess. But, yeah, whatever. Any one person that comes in is a raid, so, yeah. I, I, again, rule number one, don't be a douchebag. Yeah, two words. Double envy. Yeah. <laughs> Smoke. <laughs> two words. Full health. How did you pull that at the best time, Smoke? Out of care. Just, wow, you got so lucky with that. Just so lucky. So again, anyways, uh, we're going to uh, recap here. They're, these two are on Skype, so I did not have to call that countdown. You probably saw them start at slightly different times. There's that Sacrificial Dagger again for Morag. Uh, again, I think we have the Game Fetch set up. I hope we do. thought I saw Ducat do it, so I'm pretty sure it's set up. Uh, but this will get you into both of their channels, both of their chats at the same time. Uh, so you can see, basically, I'm just recapturing both of their streams. Uh, I think it's in there. <laughs> lucky or Skillful? Or both? No, but seriously, Christina did an awesome job earlier. That was an awesome race. And then there's a taco calling things like that XL floor. You know, just saying. But there's your link for uh, today's, uh, or for the uh, second race here today. So again, we do it best of three through the womb, too. So the first to kill Mom's Heart. Uh, speaking of Mom's stuff, there's Mom's Contact for freeze effects for Full Metal Gambit. Very nice find. Again, he is casting a 240p, he is casting off a laptop, and has Comcast. I think the last portion of that is probably playing the largest largest bit here. Uh, but again, you'll see a little, like, hitches and glitches here and there. Uh, believe it or not, because he and I are both on the same cable service and literally live about, like, 30 miles away from each other, I get the crappiest connection to Gambit. I have no idea why, but I always do. So it's, it's always hitching and glitching, even though he isn't lagging like that. So God only knows why that happens, but I get the worst connection to Gambit every time. It's the same thing with Shatia. Except hers is just, like, minutes behind. Alright, so let's see. Sister Maggie for Tamorag. Also, oh, wow. Apparently not that nice of a find. Wow, Morag's not pleased with these so far. And again, not so pleased with that. I swear he's on a reset roll here. Another XL floor. Another cellar floor. This one he's gonna take. Jeez. He's off to a lot of having to restarts here. Yeah, Morag is not having fun at the moment. <laughs> those resets, sometimes you gotta do them, sadly. It's just gotta be done. If you get those crap items thrown at you, sometimes, like, sooner or later, you basically just have to take what you get. Oh, there you go. It's not even that, Otaku. It's when you're finding XL floors and cellar floors. Sometimes you don't want that. But there you go, with piercing shots for Morag this time. His items were eh, decent up to that point, but that's a way better one. So he has piercing capabilities now with these tiers. No, because we're not playing Bastion. So technically speaking, I have to have rights to play that. If we're not playing the game that the music's to, I have to have rights to play it. Being an audio engineer, I don't fuck around with music rights. Of course, as I say that, about like three songs from now, I think is a fucking Hotline Miami song in here. But it kept putting itself in the damn playlist. I had nothing to do with it. It just kept putting itself in there. Wow, more I got close to taking a death there. Whew. How did he not get hit? On that note, though, onto his uh, second floor is Full Metal Gambit. So just barely in the lead at the moment. Even with all those resets on Morag's side. There you can see he's also got the, um, oh god, I can't think of the name now. Somebody help me with the name of the item Gambit just got. I'm I'm spacing now for some stupid reason. 
I can see it and I can't freaking name it. Oh god, I'm terrible. Well, yeah, of course. Pentagram. Wow, I can't think of names today for some stupid reason. Pentagram, thank you. Wow. So there's damage up off of the pentagram. I just like it's that damage item off of the boss that's the circular and it's got the thing. Wow. I mean, one of those days, wow, bucket of lard for Full Metal Gambit, so there's a lot of speed down off of that, along with health up, but a lot, also, as you can see, his character is a lot fatter, so that's uh, definitely not an advantage so much. Now you get the health up, that does help, but, eesh, I don't know, that speed down of the larger size, I always kind of pass on that, most people do. Ah, uh, your luck streak is over. You only get to call one thing a night, apparently, Ataku. That's right, he didn't get a darkness level. <laughs> you were calling those a little too early, though, so your luck streak ends at one. What's up, Jim? How you doing? Depends on how you want to look at that. <laughs> ah, that's true, you did call Christina winning, too. Good point, good point. We'll take that. We'll accept that. That's an acceptable thing that you called. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, some more heck getting through this room. Uh, yet another dead end. So his boss room is going to be down to the south on the east side. Interesting. Ooh. Wow, talking making that third call on that one. Interesting. So that probably won't happen now, just saying. We'll see. Watch him get it here. Watch it happen right here again. For those who don't know, Full Metal Gambit has re-rolled two different Bibles into two different Sacred Hearts throughout the span of uh, the, uh, shit, the last month, I think. So yeah, it's uh, he's had a few lucky ones. Keep in mind, the Bible is an outlawed item, so one of the few that you can actually D6. That's the only outlawed item he's ever found. Uh, no, I take that back. He re-rolled something else into Halo, too, I think. So let's see, taking out that Super Envy, or uh... Good lord, can't think of names. Super Gluttony. Wow, so there's lard for Morag as well. Interesting, so Rotten Meat, more health up for Full Metal Gambit. Morag's considering this, he's actually going to take it. So there's that health up, speed down, and larger size for both racers right now. So at least they're even as far as that goes. And there's that loading screen all the way. Wow, okay, so there we go. Curse of the Labyrinth for Full Metal Gambit. Looks like he has got a uh, Caves XL. So he should have two item rooms and two boss fights on this floor jammed together. That could either be a help or a hindrance. Always kind of depends. Early on, not necessarily a great thing, but definitely not a bad thing. The later on you get that, I think the better off you are, quite honestly. Yeah, Mara's had bad luck. Hey, Dr. Fetus, you rolled into it. Dr. Fetus. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and hey, look, it happened again. And again. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, you had some bad luck with that one, dude. Oh, there's that first devil deal. Also, uh, damage up and health up off of the uh, the meat for Morag. Let's see what he gets here. Uh, the Pact and Spirit of the Night. So he's going to take Spirit of the Night. That is wise. So, uh, wow. <laughs> so Spectral Tears and Flying off of Spirit of the Night. And uh, the Pact gives you uh, replace... Wow. Well, would have replaced uh, Morag's uh, Red Hearts with Soul Hearts if he didn't walk into the fire on that one accidentally. Nonetheless, uh, he's actually going to go clear this other room, apparently looking for a key to prepare for the next floor. Nonetheless, uh, damage up off and uh, tears up off of the, uh, the Pact for him. So he bought both of those out of the Devil Deal, so running low on health. So let's see, still looking for a way... Oh, no such luck. Not going to find a secret room by his item room. He's going to have to pass on these. So thankfully, he at least got a devil deal out of this and got two items. And a secret room with... Yeah, more money in it. Again, not what Morag was hoping for. It could have been a lot worse. Uh, like I was explaining earlier, uh, he's casting off of a laptop, guys. Gambit's casting off of a laptop in 240p. So it's just one of those things you got to deal with. I mean, like, literally try triple rendering something on a laptop. And basically think about the fact that as you're broadcasting, you're basically a TV station off of a home computer. So yeah, don't worry about it, guys. And seriously, if you notice all around Twitch, there's different qualities, right? There you go. That's your whole reasoning. You're trying to be a TV network off of a home computer.
No, there's not going to be system requirements because it's open to everybody, so you guys can deal with it. Seriously. Like, let's recap. How many times has Gambit won? Oh, four times. I think he's okay. I think he's okay. But no, that's like a ridiculous thing to, to ask of people. Like, okay, you have to have this type of computer and it has to run this good and your internet has to be this good. That's fucking ludicrous to ask of people. Yeah, exactly. A TV station off a laptop. Seems legit. But no, that's ludicrous to ask of people. <laughs> First world problems. <laughs> hey, what's up, Dirt? How you doing tonight? So again, going back, clearing out rooms, looking for keys, because Morag has had no key luck so far. He's found his boss rooms and his item rooms very quickly, but no key luck. Literally. I, has he gotten a single key yet in this run? Because I don't think he has. Thinking about it, I'm pretty sure he is not. Yeah, and lo and behold, more locked chests, because the game is just literally stuffing it in his face at this point. And Super Sloth, because, you know, totally, we needed that fight as well. He's going to hope for keys out of this, but I guarantee that he gets a tower card. Almost guarantee, or Bob's Rotten Head, one of the two. Yeah, I don't think Morax had one single key. So he's been able to get his first item room, and after that it's been the Devil Deal items and boss fight items, and that's it. So he's had no luck here. Yep, there's Bob's Rotten Head, lo and behold. So again, five extra bombs, poison damage on said bombs, but no keys. Morag desperately looking for those keys. Speaking of keys, Gambit has three and also found his item room here, so he'll be, uh, well, first item room, I should say, on his XL floor. So again, he's got both of his case floors together in one here. And last chance for Morag to get a key. Oh, please. Oh, please. All right, so let's see. Remote Detonator. It is bomb night here at the Race League. So there's Remote Detonator. Uh, Gambit will take that for the five free bombs, put it right back down, still keeping the bombs. Morag, with no luck yet again, has enough money for both the store and his item room. Can't get into either. Ah, there we go. Now he can get into his item room. Ooh, with a free bomb for that matter, because he gets Bob's Rotten Head. That's Bob's Rotten Head. I was thinking Bob's Curse was the other one, and I'm stupid now. That's Bob's Rotten Head. So that is a one-time use of a poison bomb. Which, amazingly, he's going to keep over... Oh, God. <laughs> Morag right now has got to be flipping the game off. So there's spider Bud. You saw Christina get that a few times earlier. Uh, basically, that will injure everything in the room slightly. Uh, slow it down for you. So there you go. You can see the effect on it. Slow down the movement of uh, Fistula for Morag. Yeah, right. Jesus, Morag. Did the RNG at least take you out to dinner before it bent you over the table at some point here? Like, wow. Like, I, I can't even express. Like, at least he got into his item room this time. But yeah, it could have been a lot better item. By the way, of course, the cat has showed up. Yeah, <laughs> awakened. So there's uh, Diana's crown, a.k.a. Pageant Boy. Another devil deal. Wow. Oh, that's evil game. That's, that's a dick move right there. So it gives Morag the look at Brimstone, but he only has two hearts, so he can't really afford to take it without dying. So Morag's going to leave Brimstone behind, which at this point he would have probably killed for. If he had just that one extra heart, I guarantee he would have taken it. Cat, I swear to God, pull your claw out of my groin. Thank you. Yeah, you have no keys, Morag. Can't get in there. <laughs> He's got so much money and he can't do anything with it. Cat, seriously, stop. Claw me one more time, you're going to have issues and you're getting launched across the fucking room. <laughs> What's up, Gator? How you doing? Yeah, that's a headphone cable. You also just clawed my crotch. Yeah. Nothing about that was good for you. You went 0 for 2 on that one. Things you shouldn't be clawing either way, shape, or form. That was an 0 for 2 right there. Don't go 0 for 3. You don't go full 0 for 3, cat. Anyways, finishing off his boss, Morag's going to pick up a uh, cube of meat here. Uh, Gambit working his way around his uh, Caves XL floor still. There we go. There is his extra item room. So still looking for his boss fights, his Gambit. So, ow, cat, remove claw. <laughs> What's up, Bar? How you doing? So there's that boss fight once again, as we've seen before for Morag, but he's still looking for his item room here. So again, this is still pretty even. Uh, Gambit's found both of his item rooms, but needs to clear two bosses here. Uh, Morag basically needs to clear rooms and just one more boss, but they are pretty neck and neck. Eight. So yeah, Blood Rites. Uh, Gambit will not be taking that either. He'll take the D6 with him. That actually does damage to you to injure everything in the room. 
Yeah, we got a cat getting ready for adoption here. Why do you claw human groins? What is up with you in that? I don't understand. You and human groins, like, must, must do this. Yeah, show me to my people. <laughs> Sad thing is, that's exactly what he's saying, and I can't do it, obviously, because of the race going on, but he is sitting right here on my lap. Ooh, Otaku's favorite, the curved horn. <laughs> Morag finally getting unscrewed by the RNG. So finally getting something good. Could still use a key. I'm sure he will gladly, gladly take a key at this point, but getting somewhat unscrewed by the RNG with some damage up there, if that should be too damn. Oh my god, there's a key. Morag getting completely unscrewed. Completely unscrewed. Gets into his item room next, too. Wow, congrats, sir. <laughs> About time the game unscrewed you. Like I, like, like was said, like, did it take you out to dinner before it started doing this to you? So there's Mom's pad. All in all, I guess better than Spider Butt, but he's going to take Spider Butt instead. Recharge is quicker. Yeah, that, uh, so that, that, that key. Ouch. Oh, well, there we go. 29 cents in an arcade. That could work out decently for Morag. Mind you, it does take a lot of time to gamble. Yeah, getting unscrewed. Hmm. It implies you've been screwed. Ouch. Is that enough for Spaz? Spaz is never satisfied. Especially if it doesn't have catnip involved with it. Yeah, spider butt at least does a little bit of damage. I don't know, kind of a tough call between the two. Aw, you're so cute, cat. I wish I could show you to everybody. So there's Gambit's boss fights, finally. So he will be moving on to these. Then we got... Ooh, health up for Morag in that challenge room. He'll definitely be taking it. And he's going to have to fight uh, two mini-bosses here. Technically bosses, but counting them as mini-bosses. <laughs> then ask for forgiveness. Oh, sorry, uh... Can I call you? <laughs> What's up, Flame? How are you doing tonight? And does he have a screwdriver for this? So really quickly, Morag gets through that room. Damn, did he clear that fast. So again, a little bit of health up for him. Always a needed thing. And he'll be moving on over to his Depths 1 just slightly before Gambit clears his first of two boss fights here. Oof. Just barely missing that damage. Ooh, right in a lab report. I'm attempted to pay attention to races with a cat on my lap trying to, uh, to beg for attention. So that second boss fight, there's the cops. Haven't seen or heard you guys in a while. That's surprising. Anyways, uh, Pestilence for uh, Gambit's second boss fight here. By the way, he cannot fly, so that green stuff on the ground will hurt the hell out of him. Uh, Empress Card gives him a uh, Horror Babylon usage. Also, the, uh, the mom's contact that he has is why you see Pestilence freezing in place. But he will get yet another... I'm sorry, that'll be his first cube of meat. I take that back. Uh, he'll get a cube of meat out of this fight once he's done with it. All right, oh my god. Two free keys for Morag. Who would have thought? Yeah, the game just doesn't even ask for forgiveness. <laughs> nice. But yeah, two free keys for Morag. So another, like I said, that cube of meat for uh, Full Metal Gambit, and he'll be moving on to his depths one. So just barely behind Morag here. And again, uh, Gambit lets these loading screens go through because you actually run a risk of crashing your flash if you skip those. And I'm, oh, well... And speaking of, if you get a loading screen like this, you really don't want to skip that other one. So again, that loading screen error for Full Metal Gambit, we'll see how long this takes. Last time, this screwed him by about two minutes. So we'll see how long this takes for him. Hopefully, this will be a quick one, though. But again, running on that laptop, let alone casting on it, let alone having Skype on, I'm sure. Yeah, it's uh, that that's kind of taxing. So we'll see what happens here. Last time, it may have been sheer dumb luck, but when he turned off his camera, that actually worked for him for some reason. Yeah, Flash, just, you gotta love it. So again, here's Morag being the uh, the good sport, giving a couple of seconds. Uh, Twitch Turbo's uh, $8.99 a month. Uh, if you click on uh, Ravager's, uh, actually got the purple tag, if not, I do here too. I'll link the uh, game fetch for you real quick. Do it that way. Yeah, see, there's the other thing. So when uh, Flash Player tells you it crashes, tell it no. And then sit back and wait, and your uh, your screen should load momentarily. But yeah, it's 9 bucks a month, basically. $8.99 a month. Uh, but if you click on uh, uh, any of those purple tags that you see, it'll actually take you to the quote-unquote like sign-up page. Uh, so it'll uh, it'll actually help you out quite a bit there. There you go. I, I forgot that we had that link, too. Thank you, Otaku. 
But there's all the, uh, the benefits of it. So let's see. Yep. <laughs> What's up, Wolf? How you doing, sir? Dat love. Dat turbo tag. <laughs> Gotta love him. Look at all these turbo tags. Damn. Ooh, nice. The miter for, uh, for Morag. Wow, we're still waiting on gambits. Still waiting here. At some point, I swear that's gonna load it. There we go. Look at that. About dang time. Watch, he'll get a depth one out of this. Uh oh. Okay, good. Yep. Haha, <laughs> see? Depths one. Nothing special about it. Depths one. Gotta love it. So, case in point. Called it. <laughs> yep, pro lurking like a sir. <laughs> now, Turbo's freaking awesome, quite honestly. Ooh, health up for Morag again with the uh, the balls on Shin Heart, as uh, it's oh so widely known at this point. But the less than three hard for Morag gives him a little bit more health, so rocking that four red hearts now. Uh, let's see, Gambit on the same floor as him, though obviously with that huge delay there by the loading screen. Uh, trying to play a little bit of catch up here. Uh, Morag again just looking for his boss fight, only has this one direction to go. Again with those spectral tiers actually, get, or uh, piercing I should say tiers. Piercing and spectral, he does have both. But it's because of the piercing tiers that uh, those knights are not a challenge for Morag. He can shoot them head on and do just fine. All right, those key hacks. <laughs> What's up, Sniper? How you doing tonight? Yeah, all those keys, no doors to use them on anymore. Well, he's got one more door that he needs to use them on. Ooh, is he considering that? I was going to say for a second, I thought he was actually going to go pick up the curved, or the uh, the Cursed Skull. Well, that would have been odd. But this will give Gambit a little bit more time to catch up here as Morag's going to spend a few moments gambling and see what he can pull out. Yeah, the, uh, the Cupid Arrow seriously makes the, the knights just trivial enemies. I mean, they're nothing at that point. Which makes them great. Alright, so Gambit moving on along. Knows where a curse room is, knows where a store is. Though does not have enough money to make that store worthwhile. Especially because chances are this late in the game that's probably greed or super greed. There is more Morag's boss fight. We knew it had to be soon. So let's see. Moving on through this... That's going to give him basically almost a full floor lead, depending on how long it takes him to fight Gish. So once again, little Gish will be showing up here. Uh, Cursed Skull, when you get down to uh, one heart or below, uh, if you get hit at that point, it will teleport you out of the room. Uh, so it's only good if you use it in conjunction with the... Um, um, I can't think of the name now. The... Um, oh, shoot. Wow, I'm drawing a blank on the name, guys. Oh my goodness. Uh, the Scapular. Wow. Uh, if you use it in unison with that, basically, it'll keep you invincible as long as you keep half a heart going. But if you get hit with half a heart, uh, instead of killing you, it teleports you out of the room. What's up, mate? How you doing tonight? Yeah, see, not true, football. <laughs> Perfectly usable in that case, because you're completely invincible at that point. You have to take no hits in the room, but you are invincible. Yeah, <laughs> the bean yet again, so Morag's going to pass on that and keep his spider butt. Alright, so here's the difference. Gambit's got to get behind or to the side of these. Mind you, with the uh, the freeze effect on his shots, Gambit's going to have a little bit easier time with the, uh, the knights. Even so, though, not exactly what you want to fight if you don't have piercing or something like brimstone maybe mom's knife you get away with mom's knife on these but even so that's still a little bit of a stretch and more keys all the key hacks forever when you don't need them anymore so there's that soul heart again for more to replace the one that he had lost recently and again with those piercing shots flying and spectral tears he's ripping on through those knights so again, there's the uh, the difference in uh, speed of being able to have that one item on a few separate rooms. Keep hearing spider bud. It's because I'm from Chicago. So I tend not to pronounce T's as well as I should. Ooh, Tammy's head. And Morag's going to say no thanks to that as well and keep his spider bud. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting choices. Oh, which reminds me, uh, Christina, uh, the one time when you reset, when you had, uh, let's see, the Joker card, and this is assuming you're still here, but that one time when you reset, when you had the Joker card, the Mitre, and I forgot what else it was, why on earth did you reset? Because that was on the first floor. So if you're still here, I, I would love that answer, because I did not pay attention earlier. But that shocked everybody, I think. 
Is it a kind of beer? Yeah, <laughs> spider wiser. More damage items? That's kind of what I figured. That's what I said at the time, too, is that it's probably more about getting damage items than the health up. Because, yeah, everybody was like, wait, what? Why Why would you do that? I, I was flabbergasted. But then it occurred to me, like, eh, she doesn't really get hit that much. She's probably looking for damage. So there you go. There's your answer. All right, so some luck up for uh, more ag over here on the left. Still no such luck on the right for Full Metal Gambit as he is still looking for his item room and boss fight here. So on into the Seeker room. Nothing really that special for Morag, but he'll spend some time gambling here. Well, there's that Soul Heart back. He keeps getting back that one Soul Heart that he keeps losing. Allergic to the appearance of Sacred Art. I've only had it, like, maybe four times total. Like, it's been very few. Yeah, and she won. The risk paid off just fine, quite honestly. So, case in point, I mean, like, again, look at how much more I had to reset earlier, and he's technically in the lead right now. Not by very much, but he's technically in the lead. So, again, case in point, I mean, like, you never know. All it takes is that one certain thing, or that one item, I should say, that could literally make or break it for you. Yeah, like I talk, which I called. <laughs> and he did. So the full card for Morag that he's going to leave behind would teleport you to the entrance of a floor. Cat, you're going to have to move because I have no blood in my leg. You do actually weigh a lot and you cut off the circulation of my leg. Yeah, Isaac's head. I would not take that over the curved horn. Uh, that would be another, uh, uh, basically, like, little gish type of thing following you. Uh, one of those familiars. Uh, shooting out pretty base damage, but nonetheless, it would have been another one. Uh, Morag passed that up, though, because that curved horn that he has would have been replaced, and that would have dropped his damage by two. So, again, that's why he's keeping that. Uh, Gambit finally finding his item room here. And... Morag, yeah, he's gonna actually go in his curse room. And actually came out with a pretty damn good profit, so an extra soul heart and a half out of that. And Morag moves on to his boss fight. Red Mom. And ooh, very nice timing on the death card usage, so already at 50% damage done. Very nice usage there. Wait until the uh, the eyeballs are open, and you can, at that point, even if you can see the foot, wow. So who called the uh, the Dr. Fetus? Because uh, Gambit just had to reroll that. Mind you, it turned into, um, oh, I can't think of the damn name now. Good lord. Um, wow, the tarot cards which he's going to leave behind here. He'll take that D6 with him. Yep, called it. <laughs> yep, be right back finding the logs. <laughs> but did he call that it would roll into that, Otaku? Ah. <laughs> that would be random as fuck. All right, so anyways, onto the wound one first is uh, Morag. Uh, we got Full Metal Gambit on the right, uh, about a floor and a half behind, still looking for his boss fight here. Still has the depths, too, to get through to catch up to where Morag is at. Speaking of Morag, he's going to rip on through Greed here. Very nicely done. Grabbing a whole bunch of money that he probably isn't going to have a whole heck of a lot of use for. And he's going to check for his boss fight down and to the right first. Yeah, right? Wow. <laughs> so again, the uh, Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus, the Bible, uh, Ipecac, and the Shovel are all outlawed items here in the League. Uh, so the reason that you, and technically the D6 as well, uh, but the reason that you saw Full Metal Gambit re-roll that is because, being that they are outlawed items, that's the only things you can use your D6 on. Everything else is take it or leave it. Uh, so even when you re-roll, like, see, there's that flash lag coming in for Gambit. So it's always on loading, that's where you know it's flash and nothing else. But yeah, flash does not like laptops, it definitely does not like casting. Uh, anywho, um... I had some other point for what I was saying there. Um, but yeah, you can reroll those items with the D6 if you come across just those five. Everything else is take it or leave it. Uh, so once you saw Gambit reroll the uh, Epic, or uh, Dr. Fetus, I should say, into the uh, tarot cards, he picked it up, and that's, you know, the end of that one, basically. You can never reroll that again. All right, so Morag quickly finding that boss fight. That internal compass working wonders for him right off the bat. So, again, on the womb, uh, there is nothing but the boss fights that you're looking for in these races. So moving right on along here, basically giving himself a uh, full two-floor advantage by being in the same room that Gambit's on on his depths one. So Morag well out in the lead at this point. 
getting triacnid here as his boss for that matter, so one of the rarer ones. You tend not to see this one too often. Gambit doing a quick job on uh, Monstro here. Again, this is the problem. If you freeze Monstro while that Brimstone shot is out, the Brimstone shot stays and that will hurt you. So there's that health back up for Morag that he just lost. He is going to pick up that other heart and move on down to the womb too. Ow! Fucking Christ, cat. Seriously? <sighs> well, after this race, I'm gonna have to go fucking stitch up my goddamn hand. <laughs> fucking Christ. Yeah, so the cat was basically sitting on my lap there and decided, oh, I'm going to jump down. And to do so, basically planted his back foot on my hand for some stupid fucking reason, which was nowhere near where he was. So he basically, like, stretched his leg like he was going to piss like a dog and, like, put his back foot up on my hand, proceeded to put his claws in and then vault off of that. So I'm bleeding from, like, the bottom part of my thumb. Pretty fucking good now. So yeah, that was him jumping off of there, and because my hand moved, him biffing the fucking table on the way down, instead of just falling off of my lap, the fucking, I don't know, foot to the floor. Ugh. <sighs> Motherfucker. Anyways, back to the races. God damn. Oh, don't pick that pill up, more. No. Never let that thing keep shooting you. Now pick everything up after the room's cleared, especially pills, because you're going to get stuck and get shot by those. Whoa. That was bizarre. I've never seen that happen before, so when you use spider butt, when, uh, when basically, like, Tammy's head fires from that brain... Apparently that freezes the shots like in place. Like I've never seen that actually happen. Interesting. Uh, turbo helps the streamers because when I run an ad, uh, anybody that's got turbo that doesn't even see the ad technically counts as having seen it for me. Yep, even if you're not supposed to get an ad. Exactly. See how it really works out well. Yeah, I know you didn't mean that. You okay from biffing the table, fat boy? Dumbass. What the hell were you trying to do there? Like, seriously, what were you trying to pull off there, cat? No idea what he was trying to pull off at that one. Fuck, man. Uh, I don't think I have any band-aids or anything to wrap that with either. Damn it. Oh well. How's a prodigy? How you doing? So a little bit of gambling time for Morag as he looks to heal up before going after his boss fights or any other room for that matter. Probably hoping also minimally for Skatoli. He's got plenty of money to gamble here and has plenty of a lead. So again, you can see uh, Gambit has got his depths too at the moment. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. Yes, it is, Duker. <laughs> Alright, so clearing through these masks, Gambit's really going to hate those things. I seriously hate masks. Like, especially when you got those butt lickers in the same room. Not what you want to see. gambling, more soul hearts, more soul hearts, more soul hearts, and more soul hearts. Jeez, Morag. Suddenly his luck turns around. Unbelievable. 
All right, so let's see here. Uh, Gambit looking like... Jeez. I'm going to guess probably his boss fight is this way. Uh, actually, it might be both the way that this is splitting now. That actually might have both of his rooms he's looking for. Wow. Only half a heart out of the blood machine for Morag when he blows it up. There goes that luck that I was just referring to. Never mind. <laughs> Butt scratcher. Butt scratcher. Butt scratcher. One of my favorite bits from that, too. I have no idea why, but I crack up every time I hear that. Yeah, true. With all the luck up Morag's gotten, that's true. He's had, what, like three luck up hills throughout the span of this run? I know it's been at least two, but I think he's had three. Kind of forgotten at this point. It's minimally two, though, that he's had, so he's got a hell of a lot of luck right now. On that note, uh, looks like, obviously, there's nowhere else that his boss fight can be, so he should have two more rooms to clear, and he'll have his boss fight staring him in the face. So, again, we race through the Womb 2. Uh, again, that technically is the Womb 2 that he is on. It says Utero 2, uh, but that is just the expansion version of the floor. Uh, so, again, that is basically tougher enemies, uh, tougher floor layouts. Um, I think that's about it. It might be a slightly, I was going to say, it might be a slightly larger floor, too, but it sure don't look like it. That crack up, butt scratch. I see what you did there. That <laughs> bistro. <laughs> All right, so boom. Yet again, it's a bomb night here. It's a bomb night at the races. Unbelievable. Like, everybody's getting nothing but bomb items, I swear. So Mario's going to take out this last heart. And with plenty of health, is going to work his way into that mom's heart fight. Waiting to see if any of those happen to be soul rocks. Or item rocks, I should say. They were not. But onto the Mom's Hard Fight. Again, this is where we race to. Uh, we do a best of three. So even at this point, if uh, Morag gets through this fight, that would not be the end of this. Uh, Full Metal Gambit would still have another uh, round to catch up and even it up. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Sorry about that. Yeah, ha, I got one. <laughs> uh, Christina's win was uh, two to one, actually, Prodigy. Uh, for anybody that wants to see all the breakdown of everything that's happened so far in the league, uh, that Google Docs link has everything listed on there for you including the actual breakdown of week by week, who played who, who won by what score, uh, what the standings are, all that good stuff. Uh, the upcoming schedule, whenever I know them, I put them on there, which reminds me our next actual scheduled race is Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern uh, between Fat Shuffler and Eddie Ruckus. Uh, and then we should have, I think, two other races still this week, if I'm, if I'm counting right. I believe it's two more still. And yes, it is. It's two more other races will still be scheduled this week. But on that note, uh, Tamorag ripping on through after a few resets there, uh, but ripping on through his run, finally getting on through there. So, ladies and gentlemen, that one to nothing lead for Mr. Tamorag on the left. Uh, and as you can see, uh, they have already started doing so, but they will reset. They will go back to, looks like uh, we're going to give Gambit a second to get all those affinities and all that good stuff set. Uh, on that note, they're going to reset back to uh, floor one. We'll start this all over again. Morag will be looking to win it two to nothing. Gambit will be looking to tie it up at one game apiece. Again, I'm going to go clean up the uh, the blood dripping down my hand really quick. Uh, two real quick ads incoming. And uh, when I get back, we will start up round two. So again, real quick, I will be right
Alrighty, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that again. Uh, Itaki would be proud of me. I'm using subway napkins to actually clean this up. Well, to, to put pressure on it, if nothing else. But yeah, using the subway napkin. Gotta love it. Ow. Anywho, so we're back. So uh, anytime uh, the racers uh, hear this, that you guys are uh, good to go. Anytime is good. Uh, so anywho. Yeah, there's the cat sharpening those razor sharp talons in the background. He actually just fell over because he put to me. Oh, bring it down now. Oh, yeah, bring it down now. See, like I said, that dapper gentleman to Morag. Breaking it down now with that dapper hat and dapper attire. I, I freaking love that fact that you wear a freaking tie and a uh, hat like all the time. Gotta say. Fuck that, dude, cat. Super glue, baby. Super glue, baby. Yeah, this is starting to get weird. So yeah, we got me bleeding, we got the uh, the blue nails, and then we got Morag dancing all dapper-like. <laughs> this is what we call a normal, what is today, Wednesday? I don't even know. Yeah, it's Wednesday, something like that. Whatever. <laughs> Shut up, I don't sleep well. Um, anyways, so we're about to get round two started here. <laughs> uh, let me recapture myself or recompose myself. Anywho, um, so we got Morag on the left leading one to nothing right now over Full Metal Gambit on the right. Again, we're both, uh, they're both racing with Isaac, uh, both going to the Womb 2 or trying to get there. Uh, whoever wins first gets a point, as you can see at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> I'm sorry, Itaku. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> What's up, Gamma? Uh, but we're racing through the Womb 2. Uh, Morag looking to win the best of three by taking this matchup if he uh, gets through there first. Gambit looking to even it up at one game apiece. So again, um, I assume that one of the two, if not both, can hear me. Uh, but whenever you guys are ready to go, feel free. Uh, they are on a uh, Skype call together. There's the Game Fetch link. That'll get you into both of their channels, and there you go. Um, like I was saying, it just showed up. Nonetheless, uh, but that'll get you into both of their channels. Uh, that way you can actually hear them talking to each other. Uh, you know what's going on. There we go. Looks like they're just about ready to get rolling here. So we're just about to get round two underway here. So again, uh, to Morag on the left, leading one to nothing right now over Full Metal Gambit on the right. Uh, Morag looking to get his third win of the year, if I'm doing my math correctly. Gambit looking to get his fifth. So as you can see, there will be a slight... <laughs> Morag accidentally dropped his one bomb that he had. He does that very often. Yeah, there comes the reset. I was waiting for it. So nonetheless, Morag's resetting already. But uh, as you can see, there is a slight delay between the two as to when they start. Uh, actually, I live closer to Gambit, so I have less delay between myself and him than myself and Morag, who lives basically far side of the country and a ways north of me. Uh, so basically, you saw that little bit of a, a delay in there. That's just what happens when you're recapturing streams. Uh, they are on a Skype call and did start at the exact same time, though. What's up, Taps? How you doing? Yeah, it's because half of your damn keyboard could drop a bomb. <laughs> like, shift, shift, E. Damn it. So, again, before anybody gets uh, worried about it, uh, like I said, even though I live close to Gambit, it uh, doesn't mean that I get a really good connection to him. So you see every now and then it's going to hitch and glitch like it is. Uh, that is the fact that we both have Comcast. And Comcast gets to be fickle when you're trying to watch stuff. Wow, yet another restart from Morag there, as he wasn't too happy with what he saw. Let's see what Gamba winds up with in his item room. Yeah, shift, control, E. Forgot about control, damn. Uh, wow, that D20 for Gambit. Um, he's thinking about it. He's gonna say no thanks and just leave it on behind and move on along. Again, there's that hitching and glitching going on. Oh, wait, is it? Is he? Yeah, there's the reset. I was gonna say, he's resetting, because I can see his hands moving, but the, uh, the game isn't moving, so... Yeah, two D20s, two resets. Not only just two D20s, both resets. Yeah, there you go, Attack. I was waiting for it. So there's speed up with the belt. Yeah, Gambit's going to reset again, I'm guessing. Yeah, he is. Waiting on his game to reload. Again, he's on a laptop, so sometimes that's going to take a while. There's a bomb bag for Morag as his first new item. Uh, he's also got the Ankh, so if he dies, he comes back to life as the Blue Baby. Again, the D20, good item, but not in races. It's going to take you a long time to make use out of that in a race. So definitely not exactly the most handy, useful item. Later on, perhaps, if you've already got a room that's set up for it, then you'll be good to go, but... Oh, why does my cat have to climb on the TV? Why do you think that that's a place for you? Can <laughs> I take the 20 off and wee? <laughs> oh, Mick. <laughs> I got that. 
Anyways, taking out his first boss. Morag's got Monstro here. Uh, Gambit's working his way back on around. Got, looks like, eh, probably one or two more rooms to clear before he finds his boss. Does have his item room, however, here. So we'll see what he gets here. Uh, yeah, that hourglass. Not the greatest thing on the face of the earth, but also not the worst. He will reset, however, once again. Man, these two are getting terrible luck on the first floor. That's silly human, it's my jungle gym. <laughs> Oh yeah, the D20 will totally break the game. You can totally break your game with the D20. And quite easily, for that matter. Alright, so wow, the Super Bandage. Very nice find for Tamorag. So there you go, health up and the uh, Soul Hearts on top of it. Looks like that's all he's going to go for here. He'll be moving on to his basement too. So with a very slight advantage at the moment, uh, Tamorag has got the lead here. Again, going to let that entire loading screen go through because you don't necessarily want to risk Flash crashing on you. Alright, so it looks like more I got bad gas out of that pill. Not exactly what you're looking for either. Only with that one key, probably will not be opening that chest. Uh, D20 habit in Blood Bank and it's game over. <laughs> you're definitely breaking your game with a habit. Alright, so a couple of uh, friends till the end flies for Fold Metal Gambit on the right. Again, those will actually sacrifice themselves and do a little bit of damage for you. Actually, a pretty decent amount of damage for the three of them. Can't really argue that. It's pretty good damage. Oh, Gambit was waiting to grab the Soul Heart because of that curse room that he was going into. There's a reason that, like, basically you want to take Red Heart damage going into the, the curse rooms, not Soul Heart damage, because you can replace the Red Hearts way easier. So he was just waiting on that one. So let's see, Gambit working his way back on around us. Got about one more way that his boss room can be. And there's no other way that it could possibly be here. So he's got maybe one, two more rooms to clear. Yeah, like I said, one or two. Lo and behold, he's got two this time. Oh god, and the bloody penny. Yeah, I didn't even think about that combo. Yeah, you put all those together. Yeah, you're breaking your game in about five minutes. <laughs> Oh, this cat is just like jungle gymming the entire apartment right now. You are, you've tasted blood and you are on a frenzy, aren't you? The cat has tasted blood and doesn't know what to do with himself anymore. I should probably watch out at night. <laughs> now that I think about this, I should probably watch out at night. Cat with a taste for blood. Not a good combination. <laughs> Run on, Jim. Have yourself a good night. Ah, that Club and Isaac music. By the way, the next song, again, is from Hotline Miami. It keeps sneaking into the, uh, the, not the soundtrack, uh, the, um, the playlist. So I just put it in there finally and just said the hell with it. So fair warning on that. Next song, not Finding of Isaac. This technically still is. All right, so who does, uh, wow, Monstro again for Gambit. So we're seeing a lot of the same bosses over and over again, too, for the same racers. So again, not even a uh, champion version. But again, Morag's found his boss fight as well. Still looking for that item room here, so we'll see if he's going to go back for it or not. Knowing Morag, he most likely will. Yeah, exactly, Tita. I think literally at that point, Flash would implode upon itself. <laughs> I like that reaction. It would literally implode upon itself. I think football's dead on on that one. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, I've seen it happen where it's like, I, I had somewhere in the range of about 200 pills on the same floor, and even that one was lagging. And I mean like hardcore. You'd walk into a room and it would just be like, uh, kind of like what you see on Gambit's side right now. That's my internet, not his. It sounds like you got a broken cat. <laughs> there is no such thing as a broken cat, only a misunderstanding human. Only in the eyes of cats, mind you, but still. <laughs> so again, a not the boss fight you want to get for Morag here. Again, the, uh, the flash lag is actually, that's flash lag happening again at that time. I can see his hand still moving. So there's the difference. I know when it's the actual, uh, <laughs> yeah, right, no you. <laughs> 
No, but I know when it's uh, when it's his actual uh, when it's his cast or when it's mine uh, or my internet, I should say. Usually, it's been my internet. Oh yeah, that flash, flash. Whew. But there's where you get it. Uh, flash on laptops, especially when you're casting. Yeah, that's a fickle beast. It's a real fickle beast. So Morag will be going back for his item room here. Yeah, speaking for all animals, humans are broken. <laughs> speaking for all humans, humans are broken. The animals are the smart ones. They understand it. We're busted. Yeah, learn to hockey. God. On that note, doesn't work. I live in Canada, shouldn't he? Never mind. You can probably hear this. It's just like, ah, ha, ha, ha. I don't like hockey. <laughs> Not like I don't give Chatea crap for the same thing, so... Welcome to it! <laughs> oh, cat. Yeah, no. No. You, you can stay away from me. You have that look of, like, I want more blood in your eyes. I'm gonna go with no. I'm gonna go with no on that one. Uh, is uh, Mom's Contact and Spider Bite a good combo? Absolutely. Absolutely it is. Uh, spider Bite will basically slow everything down. Mom's Contact will actually freeze it in place, so you can get both effects on them. So, absolutely. And they're both repeatable effects in the same room. So yeah, absolutely great combo. <laughs> and the Red Wings are the best team. I told you, you only get to call a few things a night, Taco. You, you've been wrong on all the other ones, so that's that's definitely one. That's definitely one. All right, so moving on to his caves too. Is more aggro around the left cat? I swear to God, I don't trust you right now. And why are you clawing at my spine? My sp there is your Hotline Miami music. Like I was saying, not part of uh, the Binding of Isaac soundtrack, but it keeps sneaking its way into the, uh, into the playlist, and I finally just gave up and put it in there. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, so how about those Blackhawks last night? Yeah? Huh? How about those Red Wings last night? No. So Isaac's Fork, every... Oh, how many is it, guys? Uh, six on that one? Every six enemies you kill, you get a little bit of a heal. Uh, let's see, Morag is thinking about something. He's going to go to the south. Ugh, four greed heads. I hate this room. I hate this room, Morag's in with a burning passion. Just, oh, I hate it. <laughs> Step one, get catnip. Step two, get catnip. No, I mean, get laser. <laughs> Step three, question mark. Step four, blood. <laughs> so dead accurate, Bacon. So, so dead accurate. <laughs> All right, so Justice Card will spawn one of every type of item. So there you go, a key, a bomb, a heart, a coin. Gambit's got his item room. And, ooh, Mr. Mega. Definitely not a bad find. So larger bombs, you'll see that uh, the explosion radius is larger. Uh, you can see, uh, let's see, um, I can't think of the name of the freaking follower now. Abel, jeez Louise, I can't think of the name of anything tonight. Morag's got Abel, which, as you can see, fires in the exact opposite direction, moves in the exact opposite way that you do. Uh, so, basically, in cases like what you see right here, that's actually a very useful little buddy. <laughs> Taku, casual hockey fan. Ah, uh, jealousy's a bitch. First place, technically undefeated. Overtime losses don't count. Why? Because we get points. So yet another super bandage for uh, for Full Metal Gambit and a God Room. Oh, I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. Ataka was onto the edge of his seat there, but there's Blood of the Martyr for some damage up. Ataka was on the edge of his seat waiting to go to the casino after here or after seeing what was going to be there. Ooh, speaking of that, there's a Curved Horn for Tamorag. So once again, two damage up for him. So that will definitely help him in the process here. Also, a Devil card will do damage to everything in the room. Oh, you don't have to ask for me to respond every time. I'll actually respond to everything in chat. My name's Grumps, by the way. And Odd Mushroom, uh, Fire Rate all the way maxed out now for uh, Tamoragi. It's one damage down off of that, but with the Curved Horn, fair deal. Uh, nonetheless, I, tr <laughs> I try to put Isaac videos up on YouTube. Uh, fails miserably, though, at the moment, because I can't really highlight anything the way that it needs to be done. So I'm way, way behind on highlighting. Uh, and then at that point, once I get them highlighted, yes, I'll upload them to YouTube. Uh, but if you go back in my uh, my archives of videos, you can actually see everything. 
Ooh, favorite part of Isaac raising. Ooh. I don't know, that's a tough call. Um, I gotta say, when, like, when people get, like, even runs kind of like this, where, like, they're almost getting the exact same items, uh, I don't know, to me, that makes it a lot of fun, where it's just like, okay, now it's straight up, like, skill versus skill, because we have, like, the exact same item set coming in the, in the exact same order. You know, things of that nature are always fun for me. Uh, and especially the last, like, couple races, we've had a few of those where it's been like, wow, these are literally, like, spot on the exact same type of thing. And we're done with that. Give him credit. Original. <laughs> Alright, some more egg looking at his boss fight. I would love to tell you what Gambit's looking at on this floor, other than the boss fight right in front of him, but I think he's got everything else done at this point on his Caves 1. But looking at his uh, boss fight, and more eggs moving in on his. Got, ooh. I'm gonna say, just about got caught by his, uh, by the enemy there. Which I can never think of the name of this thing for some stupid reason. Uh, Dig of Flies, good lord. Yeah, Spaz, keep away from the veins, god. I know, the tier rate on Morag, he got the uh, the odd mushroom for the uh, the fire rate increase. There we go. There is that devil usage. There is that time and a half damage on incredible fire rate. Let alone more health up for Morag. So let's see, Gambit gonna be looking for... What is he looking for still? Um, hasn't he done everything else on this floor? I swear he was done with it. <laughs> right, I disturbed every single good one. Oh, that loading screen. Some more egg you'll see. We'll probably get through this a little bit faster, but wow, that grayed out loading screen always scares me. There we go. So his pops right on through, so he'll get a depths. Let's see if it gives him XL. Usually that's a sign of an XL floor incoming. Ooh, not in this case, though. He just gets a Necropolis, so the expansion level. This is not what you want to see. So right on into his item room, though. Ah, that Forever Alone Attack Fly once again showing its face. So Awakened Smoke had this uh, in the uh, the last matches. Always a good little buddy. If you know how to use this thing correctly, that will do a ton of damage for you. Nothing good in Gambit Store. Didn't have all that much money anyways, but that Notch Pickaxe, yeah, not something you spend money on. Husk. Why did I... God damn. Yeah, that's the Husk. I'm sorry. Not Lord... Or, uh, Duke of Flies. That was the Husk that Morag was fighting. Good God. Like I said, it's been a long week, guys. A lot of Nino Kuni. I've, I've caught like 260 some odd enemies and uh, all the names are blending together. Everything at this point is just a complete absolute blur. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Necropolis is just the expansion level of the floor. Like I was saying, I said usually it's an, an XL floor. But yeah, all I said was that it, I also said that he's got the expansion level of it. Yeah, I blame Nino Kuni. Now we've got uh, three more achievements for that, so we'll we'll probably, if I get enough questing done, platinum it tonight. But there's going to be a lot of farming to get the alchemy quest done, from what I understand. Uh, so that being the case, I I will I'll either get it tonight or tomorrow, would be my guess. One of the two, but yeah, we'll get it within the next like somewhere within the next like 24 to 48 hours, we'll have it. And not of that much gameplay time. It it shouldn't take that long, <laughs> hopefully. Yeah, losing too much blood. <laughs> uh, this fucking cat, I tell you. He's just sitting up on top of the couch looking at me now, just like, that was good. That blood is good. I like it. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> I'm gonna jump on that bandwagon. <laughs> oh, this is why I love you guys. <laughs> Alright, so Morag's gonna get war for his first boss fight here in uh, Necropolis. Or in his uh, depths floors, I should say. Obviously, we know what the second one will be. Ow, I hate those. So the, uh, the probably the worst, worst champion version of war that you can come across. So the, uh, the darkened one here, you'll notice, drops bombs behind him as he does this movement, let alone can actually spawn two troll bombs on you. Which, ooh, that was close. Oh, Morag's in a bad spot here. Half a heart left. 
Very nicely done by Gambit as he rips through. Yeah, and by the way, everybody's least favorite. <laughs> so we got every... Oh, God. Ooh. Good thing those don't hit each other, because that would have killed you if those were normal bombs. All right, so getting uh, War off the horse, a very important thing in this boss fight. Especially in this version. Very important thing that Morag just did there. Yeah, so Spats loves blood. Hmm. Bloody cat did? Yeah. <laughs> All right, just about done with this fight. Looks like War does not have the speed to catch up. Very nicely done. So getting those two hearts a heal and a cube of meat. Morag will move himself onto the Necropolis 2, otherwise known as Depths 2. Once he thinks about this, he might be thinking about going back trying to heal. Always kind of tough to tell what he's looking for. Now <laughs> what's up, Rom? How you doing, dude? I'd rather have a sequel than a uh, New Game Plus, honestly. So I wonder what he's waiting on. There we go. Oh, yeah, he is going to go. Wow, he is going to go looking for a way to heal. I'll be damned. So he's going to go looking for at least his seeker rooms. No such luck on the first try. Got two other obvious spots to at least check here, so we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, he already knew that that one wasn't going to be the super secret. Oh, no such luck. Only the three coins in there. Um, Let's see. Super secret could be... I was going to say he hasn't cleared that room. He almost walked into an extra room that he had to fight. Thankfully, Morag caught that quickly. Uh, he's got two places that he can check for his super secret here. So we'll see if he's willing to do that, looking for the hearts. Nope, doesn't look like it. So moving on down to Depths 2. So again, a uh, relatively large lead. He's got about a two-floor advantage on Gambit at the moment here. But again, running kind of low on health as Morag, so we'll see how long this uh, goes for. Ooh, very nice find. My dude's only got three cents. He's going to spend one to... Or, uh, I'm sorry, that looked like it was an arcade to me for some stupid fucking reason. I'm out of it. <laughs> Feed the blood nip to the cat god. <laughs> Sad thing is, the cat would devour it. I don't think... It, he, in any way, shape, or form, I don't think it would stop him. I really don't think it would stop him. But this guy would probably just devour it with a smile on his face the entire time, purring the entire way. That's my guess. <laughs> Not saying he's evil, but he might be kind of evil. Ooh, super lust. Ooh, jeez, you better hope you have some speed at the moment. Morag should be good, but nonetheless, you better hope you have some speed during this fight. Because when super lust turns on that, that uh, afterburner, yeah, get out of the way. Ooh, Gambit needs about three more cents here. He's looking to pick up that treasure map that he sees in his store. Does not have the money for it at the moment. So let's see, another pill. Will Morag take that? Eh, yeah, looks like he's... Yes, he will. Tears up out of it, too. Very nice find. And he'll probably spend those last two cents gambling. How much do I actually sleep? Uh, eh, not much. Today wasn't so good. I got about an hour of sleep. UPS showed up, so I had to wake up to go let him in. Um, went back to sleep, had to wake up for this a few hours later, so I didn't get too much last night. Usually the way of the world. Plus, I haven't eaten yet today. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, it's fast cam without the space with capital S, capital C, and you gotta have a Taku's chat add on to see it. So if you're seeing it already, you're probably like, whoa, how do you do that? But case in point, yeah, that's it's it's only with the, uh, the chat add on. I wish I got 10 hours of sleep usually. I don't get anywhere near that. Anywhere. Like, ever, for that matter. <laughs> Unless it's after a marathon. I got like 16 hours of sleep after that marathon I did. Alright, so Gambit's gonna look for a two-for-one here. Ooh, and does actually get the two-for-one, so free key and free entrance to his secret room. For a little bit more money. And, go figure, just enough. Or he's gonna wind up heading back on over to his store. Let's see, Morag also finding his item room here, so we'll wind up seeing what he gets in one brief moment here. This will be the last item room Morag comes across. So let's see, he's probably going to also bomb in for that heart, would be my guess. We'll see, though. <clears throat> Excuse me, ooh, crack this guy. That's better than a D6 at this point. That's going to be the last item he comes across, so... Well, unless he comes across a real lucky uh, beggar or something to that effect. Ooh, he's not even going to take the... Really? He's not going to take the heart. I'll be damned. So let's see. Gambit takes that uh, uh, treasure map, so he's going to see the entire layout of his floor. 
How's oh, up, GC? How you doing? <laughs> Cajun. Only if it were medium rare from Ruth's Chris and uh, covered in their uh, lobster slash crab puree, as they called it. But oh my god, was that good. Just the best steak I've ever had in my life, honestly. Like, they put, they cooked that one to perfection. Minoko, how you doing tonight, sis? <clears throat> Excuse me again. God damn it, now I'm hungry. <laughs> Just like that, Kitsune, without the, uh, without the uh, space in there. No, Gambit streams just like that. He's streaming off of a uh, laptop. Laptops and Flash do not get along. But yeah, you're basically talking about, like, becoming a TV network off of a home computer. So, you gotta think about the stress it puts on there. He's using a laptop for it. Plus, he's got Comcast, which he lives about a couple miles away from me, and he doesn't have the best of internet. Oh, no. Morag down, but having the Ankh respawns as the blue baby, so he does know uh, at this point that that's going to be basically unless he comes across, a again, a really lucky one-up or something. But even so, oof. At least he's the blue baby at this point. Yeah, see, I was hoping for the, uh, the one-up in there. But he gets a little bit more money out of it, if nothing else. Oh, wow, speaking of that odd mushroom, there's that fire rate up odd mushroom for Gambit as well, so you're going to see him firing a ton of shots. Yeah, anything plus flash equals complete, bitch. Ooh, very nice, Minoko. I like that. Uh, it's, uh, something. <laughs> right, where's my space magic command? Damn it. It's so magical, it's not even there, man. <laughs> Alright, so down to that half a heart for Morag at the moment. And keep in mind, he cannot pick up uh, red hearts at, the, at this phase. Speaking of red hearts, usually the result out of this fight the Gambit's fighting would be Little Chad, which would spawn uh, red hearts. Oh, God. I was going to say, Morag's a little too close to that one. Ouch. Down goes the leader. Down goes the leader. So back to basement one for Morag, and that puts Gambit in the lead here in Caves 2. So building a pretty nice uh, damage and, for that matter, pretty decent health build as well. All right, so let's see here. Wow, yeah, that's actually his flash doing that to him. That's actually Gambit's flash doing that to him. Ouch, I had to pay attention on that. Wow, can you see my mouse on that? No, okay, good. Thought I could see my mouse. So there's that little chat like I was talking about. On that note, uh, incoming game fetch link that'll get you into both so you can actually see on gambits. Like, you can watch his game and watch. He can still see his hands moving. He's got uh, hand cam on. So you can actually see his hands moving at the same time. So you'll actually see what's up with that. But that'll get you into both of their channels, get you both of their videos, both of their audios. They are on a Skype call, so be sure to mute one of them. Because like it says, otherwise you're going to wind up here in double. Yay, it finally sealed up. Sweet, I'm not bleeding anymore. Woo! Winning. Ooh, pinking shears for Morag. Very nice start right off the bat here. So that'll make quick work of whatever boss he gets. Looks like he's considering... What are you doing, sir? What are you doing? Oh, are you sorry, cat? Yeah, that was cute, but are you sorry? No, works just fine, Strike. Works just fine. Cat, really? <laughs> yeah, I know you're sorry. You're behind me, though. What do you want? I love you, too. You're behind me, though. What do you want? <clears throat> oh, my God, dude. What? <laughs> what do you want? Jesus, Cat, I love you, but Jesus... Awesome, LPH. Not everybody's does, let alone not everybody has the internet to actually warrant streaming at like 1080p off of it, so la -dee da His is old. Again, guys, we can get over the whole fact that like, can we like get over that not everybody has like this like, oh my god, my dick is huge internet thing. That's the way it works.
Let alone not everybody can afford, like, the, you know, the newest laptop every two days. So, yeah, we, we really need to get over the whole, like, not everybody can cast in 1080p thing. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, not off the top of my head, uh, Waffle. Uh, anybody know what, uh, Chad's name? Because it's obviously C-H-A-D. It's not actually Chad, it's C-H-A-D. But every anyone know what that stands for in the context of this and obviously, uh, Meat Boy? Because I don't remember off the top of my head. Damn, it dropped another degree for you, Taco. Go out and do that. What do you mean, pre-render? I'm, I'm doing this live, Mick. <laughs> Oh, what's up, Ramsa? Hey, welcome back, Mike. Then how am I gonna pre-render it? I really don't understand your question. I'm I'm broadcasting it. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> really don't understand what you mean. Yeah, that's how streams work in the first place. Like, <laughs> you guys really need to go in and look up how, like, streaming actually works. Like, yeah, streaming uses your processor. Yeah. Like, I'm confused by what you're asking, though, honestly. Like, I have no idea what you mean by that. All of that's basically just like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, download more RAM, it's the only way. God. I still can't believe that website exists. How much RAM do you want to download? Okay, you're done. <laughs> can't have a laugh at that one still. Alright, so there's a halo of flies for Mark. So you can see the two flies floating around him are uh, orbitals that'll block shots. Although he's not going to risk getting in front of that one from the tomato. I hate these tomato enemies. These things walk away from me so freaking fast. <laughs> Download more RAM. <laughs> I can just hear it now. Download more RAM.com. If you're that stupid, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, is me or said that other guy similar to mine? Probably somebody similar to me then. <laughs> Clean my PC. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Alright, so Canvas going back looking for. Woo, that was a little too close there. I was going to say, probably looking to get in on ooh, his store, but not what he was hoping for in there. A, he can't afford it in the first place. He might take that soul heart. Eh, maybe not. Apparently that also isn't working. It does have that uh, Joker card at the moment, too, so I wonder what he's waiting on with that. Hmm. I suppose he might be waiting for the next floor. I guess he might as well. Now or wait until the end of this floor. I thought he had his boss cleared already for some stupid reason. I thought he was already done with his boss on this floor. But, ugh, the bloat. So he's going to see if he gets a free entry into a uh, boss or into a uh, devil deal here, or a god room for that matter. If he doesn't, he'll probably use that joker card in a few seconds and get himself into one. Let's see, Morag working with one half a heart and one soul heart. There you saw the uh, the pinky shears coming into effect. You can see his body running around spewing blood. Uh, his head flies around the room. That's the stream itself freezing up on that one. And typed in Amazon. Oh god, Minoko. <laughs> and one of those days. Uh, there's no real prerequisites. You have to be able to stream on Twitch, obviously. Um, basically, for Season 2, we're going to make it so that it's only on specific nights that we're doing the actual races, so that it's it's more back-to-back. -back. We get a lot of them in there. It's not just one and dones. Uh, you know what I mean? So we'll get, you know, like, that way it's not going to be like, okay, you know exactly that it's going to be at this time, because it is still random. 
Uh, but even so, like, we're gonna make it a little bit more specific as to what nights, but we'll get all the information out there pretty soon come, like, playoff time, which is in a good, like, week and a half. So hopefully we'll get uh, some of the info out there for it soon. Ah, yeah, okay, now I know what you mean, Mick. Yes, that is me. Uh, there is a uh, setting that you can use uh, within OBS. It's in uh, XSplit as well. Uh-oh. Speaking of that internet, Gambit popped offline and back on. So, like I said, I have a shit connection to Gambit. I always do. Like, every freaking time. So, we'll wait and see when that pops back online. Like I said, though, I always have a crap connection to Gambit for some reason. I don't even know what the hell it is, but, like, he can be casting smooth. Other people, like, will not mention it in the slightest bit. And, for me, it does stuff like this constantly. Never fails. Anyways, that'll be back in a second or two. There we go. Alright, so we're back. Uh, do, do, do. So he's already got in his item room. Uh, what else is he going for? Boss fights? Wow, that could be in one of four spots. Ouch. Yeah, gotta love... Fuck you, Comcast! <laughs> yeah, Comcast plus Comcast equals... Oh, why, God, why? <laughs> it's like the Antichrist has met the internet. That's basically what it is. We both have Comcast, by the way, and, like, for whatever reason, like, whenever it's people on Comcast that are close by me, I can't get good connections to them. Anybody streaming from Chicago, it's like, pfft, forget about it. I can barely watch them. It's so weird. Hey, Lemon Mishap isn't that horrible, you two. It's, it's got its uses. Like, same thing, like, Kamikaze, obviously, we all know now you can use it without taking damage. Uh, but uh, even so, still has its usage. Is they're few and far between. Uh, but at least with uh, Lemon Mishap, like you're gonna get some pretty decent uh, mileage out of it, or you can if you use it right. Oh no! More egg down. More egg down. Back to the beginning again. Ouch! These terrible rooms for more egg. I'm telling you. Oh god, the Miami server. I would hope not. Hell, for that matter, that Chicago server, whew, I don't even want to tell you how bad that one is for me. But that could be part of the issue, too. If anyone's using the uh, Chicago server, oh my god. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably not able to watch you if you're uh, routed through that one. Because, man, the delays I get on that, I don't even want to... I should cast onto it one night so you guys can see. It's hilarious. I've actually got a walkthrough on uh, on YouTube here, if that shows up. Do, 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 do. Wow, that may not show up. Anyways, uh, in XSplit, you can actually uh, see like the actual server ping. Um, you know, like it'll show you on there like which one's the best for you. You're looking for the uh, the lowest ping, the lowest jitter, um, and the other one's an average. So uh, you're looking for the lowest ping and lowest jitter, basically. So they may not be the one closest to you. And believe me, I cast a Virginia, and I live in Chicago. There it is. Yep, now it's showing up for me. Wow, I'm getting weird chat lag, then. If you guys saw it before it even showed up for me and said so, then yeah, I'm getting weird chat lag. <laughs> yeah, the Ashburn one's on, well, the secondary one. If I'm not mistaken, the main one's the, uh, like, the hub over to England. Or across seas, at least. Because that one's always terrible for me, but the secondary's phenomenal. Ah, oh, no, I never have, Joff. Never have. Uh, it, it depends, Mike. You have to check it yourself. Like, it's going to be different for everybody. Because you would think, for me, I live just outside Chicago. You would think it would be the Chicago server, and it's not. So, you just have to check it yourself. It's all a matter of routing and shit, so I can't tell you. Nobody can, for that matter. You just have to check it yourself. Yep, exactly what Rum just said. It's all about the routing of how your ISP handles it, so... Uh, like I said, it, you gotta check your own, basically. Like, XSplit's the easiest way. Uh, there is a program out there, but I don't remember if it's still available on the download link that I had. So I may have taken that off of the YouTube video. I kind of forgot. 
I've actually cast it to the Amsterdam server, believe it or not, Otaku, because it was the best one for me and, the, like, the only one that worked that day. So I've actually done that. It was a gigantic freaking delay, but... And keep in mind, you actually have to check on all of those servers. Like, you can't just, like... When you, uh, when you bring down the list, it'll give you the whole listing of everything. You have to check on all of them. Don't just assume that the default one it gives you is good, because I guarantee it won't be. And like I was saying, that wonderful connection from Comcast. Yeah, Gambit's uh, connection's having a hell of a night. Oh, there we go. Had to reset it real quick there. There we are. Every now and then when you reboot it, it works a little bit better. That one reloaded really fast, but yeah, it looks like Gambit's connection's having a hell of a night. It doesn't matter what's closest, though. And believe me, Chicago's not the closest one, too. If you're casting from Florida, uh, Virginia's a hell of a lot closer to you than Chicago is. Believe me. Um, being that I've lived in both Chicago and Florida and driven through Virginia, trust me, it's closer. Um, <laughs> even at that point, there's a lot of other ones on there. So yeah, there's other ones closer. But yeah, proximity isn't the thing. It's all about the stats on there. It's not about which one's closer. Like, that's why I keep saying it. Yeah, and there's the OBS link. Well, it will in a second, because obviously Minoko beat me with the game fetch link. That nah, should do it. There we go. Just watch that video. That'll explain it all. That video will explain it all for you. But yeah, the uh, game fetch link's up above there for you. Hey, yeah, what's up, Randy? How you doing? No, Kitsune needs a capital C, too. Also, please don't just use it as a just random, like, oh, I'm just going to do it now. Wow, see, there we go again. As he got a, uh, it's his flash doing it to him. So he's got a loading screen that actually killed his cast for a second. So it's his flash doing it to him. Gambit's flash is just being a bitch right now. Yeah, it's called Ingest Ranker. There you go. No, you're a terrible troll, and that's why you do. Oh, come on. It's so close. It's trying so hard. And again, guys, there's rules down below. You might want to try reading those before you attempt to troll in my room. Like, all right, as I said that, now you're going to be an asshole, too. Again, right as I say things too, guys, yeah, and you're going to try to troll immediately, because guess what? Not only did you just need a timeout, you just need an actual ban. So again, try uh, actually abiding by those. I know it hurts, but yeah, give it a shot. So again, <laughs> still with that loading screen. Wow. Still with the loading screen error there for Gambit through all that. My god, you'd think that would have actually given him time. You can test things in your own channel, guys. Everybody's got their own channel. You don't need to do it, like, basically just by, you know, going into a room full of a couple hundred people. Oh, we hit the wrong one on that. Ugh. Hope that works out. Okay, it actually did. So Gambit got through his loading screen finally. But yeah, if you're ever going to test out emotes and shit, do it in your own channel. You don't need to do it in front of a couple hundred other people, because all that is is spam. Oh, God, dude. I can't... <laughs> Ravager, you're so done on. Because he wanted to paint his nails. Why are you questioning it? How's that for an answer? Oh, why is your name Kill4? Why is the sky blue? Why'd the dinosaurs die? People still being closed minded individuals. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Cajun. Why did the dinosaurs die out? Because you touch yourself at night. <laughs> because of magnets. Yeah, they're remaking the game. There's going to be a uh, Binding of Isaac Rebirth coming out. Uh, I don't remember if you said this year. Like, uh, I think you said sometime around like the end of this year. Again, don't quote that exactly. I could be completely wrong. It depends on a lot of things, obviously, too. Uh, but even so, coming out, yeah, relatively at some point, they're going to completely redo this. So, yeah, end of this year, I think, is what it was. Ow. <laughs> Why does the cage bird sing? <laughs> it's the game itself. It's basically that uh, Gambit's playing on a laptop. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you imagine, like, playing on a laptop is not exactly, like, the, you know, the, the premium way to go about it, but it's what's got to be done sometimes. It worked fine in here, too. You just didn't see it in here because you haven't reloaded your chat for whatever reason. It works just fine. So there's that sacrificial dagger yet again. By the way, conquest yet again for Gambit because last time he almost got trolled hard by this guy. <laughs> What's the... Damn it. <laughs> see what you've done. Do you see what you've done? <laughs> Minoko. This is why I love this chat room. <laughs> why do fools fall in love nice? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, cornered. Oh, more. Wow, more I got out of that without taking it. Wow. Hell of a dodge. Oh, how the hell he pulled that one off? A great one. Yeah, Conquest is a pain to fight. I seriously detest this fight. Let alone those purple shots are not handy. So yeah, you can see whenever stuff like that happens, his flash is basically just giving him absolute hell tonight. Yeah, we'll be here all week. <laughs> no, really, we probably will. Crumps always streams. <laughs> oh no, there it is. Ouch. Morag down again. Ow. Man, those things are not being bros right now. Yeah, that ninja move the first time, though, was freaking amazing. I don't know how he missed taking damage, but wow, that was a hell of a move there. Of course. Of course I did waffle. Or the Simpsons version. <laughs> over here, over there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Why is that so adorable? Because <laughs> he is. Speaking of which, where is the bloodlusting fiend? Hmm. I don't trust this. He's plotting in another room, I fear. I don't see my cat, and I am now scared. And we're a semi-ninja. Wow, a little bit late on that, but Gambit will still take the uh, the miter, so 50% chance that his red heart spawns will actually be uh, blue hearts instead, the soul hearts. But he will be moving on to womb 2. Again, a little bit late on that, but yeah, Bible? Aw. <laughs> I was waiting for a target to be like, yes, here it is. Aw. And lo and behold, there it was. <laughs> Why does Spaz love Crumps' blood? <laughs> Alright, so Morag just getting these cellar floors over and over, looking for something decent at the beginning here. Hey, have a waffle. <laughs> Ugh, the poop. Yeah, Morag's rebooting again, I can guarantee. He's probably cussing this game out some fierce right about now. Ouch. Man, this one is not being kind to him. Good lord. All right, so yet again, getting a basement this time. Uh, more like looking for that item room once again. You have get carried. Get carried. <laughs> that double poop. That's usually when you know you've had a lot of fast food the night before. No, okay, wait. I mean, uh, when you've reset far too many times in Isaac. You have pooped twice in a freaking row. Yeah, time to shit on everything. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, like a pro tip, don't carry poop. <laughs> oh, that'd get interesting. It <laughs> like drop all the rolls and just like, all right, do whatever you want. <laughs> oh, at that point you gave me like, you know what? Use whatever character you want. How about that? Like make it like use whatever character you want. No rules. You know, like if you want a D six, so you know, use Isaac for that. You can. That'd be kind of cool. 
<laughs> oh god. The Ipecac, one of the banned items. More aggro rolls it. Ooh, there you go. There's a nice reroll. So again, Ipecac was a banned item. That's one of the few times we've seen that show up. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, more aggro rolled. They got the damage up odd mushroom out of that. So you can see the uh, size of his head is uh, freaking ginormous. Uh, but at the same point, his tears are also uh, quite well uh, increased in damage. So very nice. Yeah, speaking of D6s. Ooh, also get Steven as his boss fight. Never a bad find. That's one of two items will come out of this. He'll either get damage up out of the uh, head-looking Steven Tumor or the uh, the follower that will shoot homing shots. Not the greatest of followers, but definitely not the worst either. Yeah, no need to censor yourself. Yeah, come on, Tumor. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, so there's that follower for homing shots. Again, we got uh, Gambit doing a little bit of gambling here, hoping that he gets some sort of health up. Again, at that point, he'd be happy with damn near anything out of here, except for keys. Eh, he'll definitely take bombs. He's only got three. There is those health ups he's looking for. With the miter enacted, that's a 50% chance again that any red heart spawn will actually be a soul heart. So there you go. Well, and as I'm talking about keys. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, looking to get some uh, soul hearts out of here if he can. It's not the tumor. Yeah, oh, look. More poop. <laughs> yeah, fuck shit, ass bitch. Barbara Streisand. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I haven't seen that movie in ages. I gotta see that again. I gotta watch that again sometime soon. Oh yeah, exactly, Kyria. This is one of the few games where you're actually gonna get stuff like, Oh sweet, I got cancer! And where else are you gonna hear those words other than right in this game? Because probably, yeah, no, that, that's probably the only time, quite honestly. Oh, it's South Park that I'm referring to, Cajun. Let Ravager deal with it, I'm eating Doritos. <laughs> oh, I love it. Mmm, nacho cheese. Nacho cheese. Okay, anyways, there's a speed shot for Tamorak, so that is shot speed up and speed up. So you see he walks faster, and when he shoots, the uh, the shots will move at an actual faster pace on screen. But once again, rocking that half a heart, so we'll see how that well that works out for him. Again, Gambit probably just going to fly on through. No pun intended. Sorry, he is flying. <laughs> fly on through. That was bad. I'm sorry. Anywho. Uh, what I was trying to say is he's probably going to find... I'm assuming his boss fight's actually going to be down the way that he's heading. We'll find out the hard way when it's not, but I would assume that's where Mom's heart's at. <laughs> this mouse cost me 50 bucks. I ain't getting Dorito shit all over this. Heh <laughs> Send them via snail mail. <laughs> All right, so there's the balls of steel uh, usage there for Morag. Uh, let's see, he's got the moon card for teleport into his secret room. Uh, whopping three cents in there. Nothing that spectacular. This <laughs> should work Vegas someday. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I'll leave that to the professionals. Thank you very much. Oh, wait, oh, you meant like stage show. No, no, well, I wouldn't do that either. I, I probably wouldn't do that either. Probably. Maybe. We'll see. No, but no, I never would, honestly. <laughs> I hate getting in front of people. Like, it's one weird, like, even being on camera feels weird. Like, you know, if I'm sitting there, like, trying to play the game and talking, like, I feel so out of place doing that. Like, I hate being in front of people. I've had my mouse for going on, like, 10 years at this point. It's a really old-ass Logitech that I bought for, like, 20 bucks or something. I've had it forever, and it still works, so... I've seen no reason to replace it. So yeah, that's how cheap I am. 
<laughs> How's up, Fade? How you doing? So for anybody new joining in again, we do a uh, best of three. Uh, this is actually the second overall race of the night. Not just the second race here in this heat, but nonetheless, second overall race of the night. Uh, earlier, RTC took out Awakened Smoke. Uh, the Only the second loss that Awakened Smoke's had this year. Uh, but took him out 2-1 to one earlier. Uh, again, we have a, uh, like I said, being the best of three. Morag leading one to nothing right now on the left. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we race through uh, Mom's Heart, so Womb 2. Uh, same floor that Full Metal Gambit is on right now. So he's looking right now to tie this up at a game apiece and force a game three. Uh, Morag looking to uh, play some serious catch up here and hope that he can actually uh, get caught up and uh, win this 2 to nothing. So he's got a long, long way to go here. But again, never, never assume that everything is over until at least it's close to the fat lady, a.k.a. Mom's heart, singing. It's going to be really close to that, though. <laughs> hey, Pink, how you doing tonight? I'm great myself, thank you. Good to see you. <laughs> right now, everybody's making me hungry, damn it. Wow, is the guild still going on there? Because I know he hasn't played uh, WoW on stream in a while, so guild's actually still going, though. Nice. Alright, so speaking of, I kind of figured that had to be where Gambit's boss fight was, and lo and behold, it is. So clearing out this one last enemy here, we'll get him into that Mom's Heart fight. Again, he can fly, so that will not damage him. But again, moving on into the Mom's Heart fight, this is where we actually race to. So Gambit looking to even this up at one race apiece right now and force a game three here between himself and uh, Tamorag, who is a racer on the left. Again, this has been a uh, very trolly round for Morag. He has uh, definitely, definitely been feeling the heat of the trolliness of this game. Has not been so much fun. No, it originally looked like a heart and then it turned into looking like a fetus. So technically speaking, it evolved into the fetus. And that's a real scary thought when you put it together. And does it have a heart of its own? Ooh, heartception? Hmm. Or does it just have another it lives inside of it and therefore it's it livesception, therefore it's heart heart heartception. Mm. Deep Thoughts by Crumps, too. <laughs> oh, Jack Handy, where have you gone? Uh, um, wow, once again, that odd mushroom, the fire rate up for Morag, so damn. Again, probably a little bit too little too late, because uh, Gambit is fighting Mom's heart at the moment, so a little bit too late at this point, I would assume. But again, you never know. Uh, I, you just never know. Also, Lust being a little bit of a pain in the ass for Morag over here, bouncing around and actually hitting him. Very much not cool. That's what we were just talking about, Lord. If Itaku could type better, would he not type the word where twice in a row and make sense in that sentence? Nah. <laughs> I'm like, every self a dude. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's because with the old systems, the Silex, you got to do what I just had to do. Uh, Wake and Smoke, who is obviously in chat and one of the uh, the previous racers, actually sent me a uh, DVD recorder so that you have to pass the signal through that and then have the DVD recorder on, pass the signal through to the HD PVR, and then it works. So anything like that where you can actually get video and audio through, that'll make it better. What's up, Kaya? How you doing? Yeah, Taco, do you English? Do you even English? Yeah, then I'm eating Doritos. I'm I'm eating Doritos? My god, man. Uh I need a rule on that later. Uh on what? I totally just missed what it was. I totally just missed what happened there that we need the rule on later. Quite honestly, I was watching Gambit's side, so I have no idea what just happened there that uh was in question there. 
nonetheless, uh, like I was saying, down to about 5% left on Mom's Hard Day's Gambit. So he is looking like he is going to even this up really quickly here. And indeed, with these last couple of hits... Nah, there it is. Whew. Even with the extra damage there, how the hell did that hit him? That's really weird. Anyway, so evening it, evening it up. Ah, from the Dead Sea Scroll. Gotcha. I didn't see. Did you actually use the uh, uh, the trap door? Ah, you did take it. Okay. Um, well, it's not like it mattered much, obviously, because that evened it up in one apiece. Um, we were uh, saying that before, basically. Uh, the ruling on that uh, that came down before was to, if that shows up, uh, basically don't take the, um, the way down unless, like, it spawns underneath you. And for whatever reason it's open, then whatever, you know, shit happens, we're not going to, like, call you out and, like, well, you just got fucked. Restart. Uh, but at the same point, like, if that happens, just leave that behind, basically. Uh, so, you know, like, not leave it behind. I, You know what I mean? Don't use the actual opening way down, whatever you want to call that. Um, but obviously, it, it, it's going to randomly happen sometimes. So, same thing. Just don't actually utilize it at that point. So, not a big deal. Anyway, so that evened it up in one game apiece. As you can see, Gambit is uh, doing a BRB. I'm going to do the same because I need a refill of my drink here, as you can probably hear in my voice. Uh, so, everybody do that. I'm going to run a real quick couple ads, and I will be right back with you guys. Again, thank you very much. Yeah, exactly. It can happen. You'd be surprised. So, yeah, don't touch that hole. But, yeah, nonetheless, uh, I'll be right back, guys. Thank you again for the support, and uh, a couple ads coming at you. Um, yeah, we'll be right back with, uh, once again, Game 3 for the second time tonight. So, we'll see who the winner is momentarily, guys. Alright, so for those who can't hear me, obviously I'm back. Uh, it'll take a couple seconds to clear. There we go. Now we're clear on everything. And perfect timing on that. It's like Gambit sat down at the exact perfect timing there. Gotta love it. Why are you poking me, damn it? Don't you be poking me. No pokes. No, no, no poking. No poking. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so welcome in again, uh, anybody new that just joined in. Uh, we are just about to start up heat number three here. Yes, and we're good to go too. Morag, anytime you guys are good, feel free. Awesome. So there we go. They are just about to get this thing started, actually. So again, round three just starting up. Again, you can see they both start off in basement one. Uh, they Well, Morag got basement one, Full Metal Gambit got the cellar. Nonetheless, that's the expansion version on the right there. So we'll see a few tougher enemies, maybe a few tougher room layouts, though, in the basement. Not really that big of a deal. Uh, definitely different bosses, though, are available to you. Uh, anyways, they're going to race with Isaac uh, through uh, Womb 2. So whoever takes out Mom's Heart first is going to be the overall winner tonight uh, by taking the best of three. Uh, again, they have the D6 available, but can only use it on five items. That is the Bible, uh, Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus, uh, the Shovel, and Ipecac. Other than that, everything is take it or leave it. So whatever you see is take it or leave it. On that note, they are rolling. So there you see that very slight delay between the two of them. Uh, they are actually on a Skype call. Let me get you the uh, the link to get into both of their channels easily. Uh, the game fetch link coming up here will do so. You can get into both of their chats and both of their channels. 
So I thank you very much if you guys could give them a little bit of support and do so. That would very much help. Uh, again, uh, just starting off here, though, so good luck to both racers. Uh, we got Tamorag on the left, who won the uh, the first matchup tonight, and uh, Full Metal Gambit, who just won the most recent one here. So again, good luck to both. Uh, they're both looking to get through the womb, too, faster than the other. So now this is all about speed and time. Not that it wasn't before, but this is the all-important third and final race, so this is on right here. Second time tonight, too, so... Ooh, chocolate milk for Morag is his first item. And he's going to say a big fat no thanks and reboot already. Alright, so let's see. Guppy's hairball for Full Metal Gambit. So you'll see that'll follow him around. Uh, for the entire floor he's on, you can actually spin that around. Uh, yeah, there you go. Kind of like uh, you know a moon orbiting a, a planet, for example. Uh, basically spin that around and uh, do damage with it. The more you kill with it, uh, the more that that's going to grow and the more damaging it'll become. Uh, it's a, it takes a lot of getting used to, quite honestly, though. At least for me. I'm not very good with it. and uh, Maybe that's just me, but I'm terrible with that thing, honestly. <laughs> Alright, so Morag just about to find out what he gets in his item room. Ooh, item magnet. And, yep, that's another reboot. You can tell when the fire stopped moving. Again, uh, if you hold down the R button, uh, just like Morag's doing right there, that'll actually reset you a lot quicker than going to your menu. So again, there's another one. Has he got another seller in a bad setup? Ooh, there we go. Little chubby. Very nice find. So as you can see, that'll fire across the room and actually chew up anything in its path. So very nice find right there. All right, so Gambit, the first to move on to his basement, too, as he rips on through his boss. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. So there we go. That's a little chubby coming into use for Tamorag on the left. So let's see. Gambit's going to need to find a key before he can get in that item room that he spawned right next to. Gotta love when that happens in a race. Yeah, right, Ale. Hungry little motherfucker, ain't he? Like, you gotta love this thing, though. Like, if you aim that thing correctly, that thing will rip through bosses. And I mean rip through them. And especially if it's something like Larry Jr., which we might actually see as the first boss. There's always a chance. Uh, but if you see Larry Jr., for example, it's basically like piercing shots. You can hit all portions of them just by doing that. Wow, speaking of chocolate milk, side by... There you go. So, basically about 25 to 30% damage there. Probably about another 30 to 40% damage on that second hit. And there you go. That's why you like Little Chubby. He is a boss killer. And I do mean a boss killer. But yeah, there you go. Chocolate milk for, for uh, Full Metal Gambit. He actually takes that because he's on the second floor. So again, we're seeing a lot of similar items. By the way, also has the Bloody Penny. Uh, as he picks up coins, that has a chance to spawn hearts for him. Uh, so we'll see how well that works out. So again, there's Bob's Rotten Head. That is a one-time throwing uh, poison bomb usage. Again, you can use that. Uh, uh, it will recharge, but for the room itself, it's a one-time use. So let's see. Gambit moving away from these before he accidentally kills them with Guppy's hairball. Oh, jeez. I was going to say that one might get a little bit close, but he's all safe now. So speaking of uh, fights that Little Chubby actually comes in handy on, this would be one of them. And especially when you find them underground like that, because you do a lot of extra damage to pin. But again, each piece of pin here is actually its own enemy there, so you can hit everything. Very nice. <laughs> Have you ever seen X-Factor? Oh god. Oh god. Alright, so there's some health up for Morag, and he'll be moving on to his basement too after... Or, I'm sorry, on to uh, Caves 1 after finding his basement 2 item room. Let me rephrase that. Completely said that wrong the first time, and I knew it when I said it, too. But again, that chocolate milk, as you can see, uh, basically charges your shots. You can do it, you, know, you can basically rapid fire them at your own rate, uh, which Gambit is basically doing. Or you can, uh, and keep in mind, he's using a controller, so he's actually spamming a button like hardcore at the moment. Or you can hold it down and actually get a charge shot out of it, which will do more damage, but is a lot harder to aim if you don't have a, a slow moving enemy like this. How's up, Jazz? How you doing? And again, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? 
Good to see everyone. Thank you guys for coming out and supporting everything. Ooh, one of the rare items. The raw liver for Tamorag. So there's that two health up in that room. Very nice find in a secret room. Especially out of a space bomb usage. Or a space bar bomb usage. Say that ten times fast. Alright, so let's see. There is more Ag's item room, and he does finally have a key to get into it. Picking up a lot of extra money here. And let's see, the doctor's remote. He's going to say no thanks. That's, uh, again, in the room, a one-time usage of uh, Epic Fetus. That is perfectly legal, uh, because that would just be the one-time usage. If you had Epic Fetus, totally different story. Wow. Two cat items in the uh, in the devil deal. Interesting. Wow, Morag's actually willing to take 10 bombs for a challenge room. It's pretty early on, so these aren't really too much of a challenge. But a little bit of extra time being spent here. So we'll see how well that works out for him. 10 bombs, though. You definitely can't go wrong. Yeah, if you're going to do it that way, you take up his head and then uh, 9 lives. But yep, that would actually get you those two items. You'd be perfectly fine with that. But you don't have to. That's the other thing. But nonetheless, that would have been two or three guppy items for Gambit there. But he says no thanks to both, so he's going to keep everything he's got and move on along. What's up, Sados? How you doing tonight? No, it would have worked out fine, actually, in Eastie. Second one would have uh, uh, basically took him down to zero health, so the next time he got hit, he would have died. Uh, but he would have been fine. Uh, Guppy's head uh, will spawn uh, flies around you every room. So every anywhere between, I think, two and five. Uh, flies around you. The uh, friends till the end attack flies. Oh, wow. Gambit's actually going to take Wiggle Worm, so you'll see his shots will actually move in a uh, very odd pattern here. There you go. Now you can actually see him moving. They kind of blend in with the floor on this, uh, well, the uh, the background, I should say, on this floor, but you can actually see him moving in an S pattern there. Good night, Pink. Have yourself a good one. Alright, how about that, uh, judgment? Anything good for Morag? Getting two of spades, definitely can't argue the keys. One heart, also not hoping for this. He's hoping for an actual item at this point. Yeah, that half heart's not what he's looking for. That one penny item? No such luck. Alright, that beggar not being a bro. Not being a bro. So, moving on, Morag will look for that item room before he goes to his boss fight. Again, that's always a, uh, a matter of uh, opinion on what you want to do there. Uh, basically, if you've not been hit on the floor, you may want to go for the boss fight if you come across that first, because you have a higher chance of spawning a god or a, a uh, angel, or god, sorry, god or a devil room off of that. So there's always the possibility there, but it's, oof. I'm going to say, not that that would have been terrible, but Morag almost picked up that bacon heart, a.k.a. eternal heart. Uh, that would actually, if he takes that onto the next floor with him, give him a uh, another full red heart container. Uh, if he finds another one on this floor as well, same thing would uh, would occur. So he doesn't have to go to the next floor with it. Ooh, very nice. The unicorn horn. Wow, really? So Morag's going to say no thanks to that and keep Bob's head. Interesting. Wow. There's why. Ah, he was trying to get entrance into his secret room for free. I see. Now he's going to go take the unicorn horn. Yeah, right after he checks his cursed room. Yeah, speaking of Guppy items, so there would have been the third. Mind you, that's on a different racer's screen, but nonetheless, Guppy's tail for Tamorag. So now he's got his curse went up, and uh, there's a... Let's see. <clears throat> Keys will almost, like, never spawn for him at this point. Uh, but he will have a bunch of locked chests, and basically you have to hope you have a lot of keys, or you're really late in the game for that one. But he will take the, uh, the extra bombs out of the center of this room. He will take the Unicorn Horn. So that is seven seconds of invincibility and damage to be able to be done. All you have to do is walk into enemies, and that'll damage him. Wow, Dad's key again. So that can actually force spawn devil deals. Uh, basically, when you're in your uh, your boss fight, if you use that while you're fighting the boss, there's a chance that that will uh, uh, open up a devil or a god room for you. I know there's other usages for it, but that's basically the one that I know. So let's see. With that no money, Morag takes the heart that the, uh, the beggar left behind. And gets the Blighted Ovum as his boss. Always a little bit of fun. Okay, wow, he got lucky that he actually pushed the uh, uh, pushed the uh, the bomb over back into that rock. 
Gonna get some health up. Did get a locked chest out of that. He's gonna say no thanks. Grab the extra heart and he'll be moving on to caves too. So again, just barely behind him. Full Metal Gambit on the right is looking at his boss here for Caves 1. So literally just one room behind at this point. But Morag on his Caves 2 gets yet another Catacombs floor. Ooh, Counterfeit Penny comes out of the Golden Poop. So that will add one penny randomly uh, to any coin that you pick up. Wow, uh, that's kind of a troll placement on that. Yeah, that's a real troll placement. Uh, so hopefully he doesn't have to go through that way with only one key. Uh, but Morag's going to hope to God that he can find other keys, if not, because that is a troll placement on that locked chest for him. And yes, Mom's Knife is legal. The only ones that are outlawed are Epic Fetus, Dr. Fetus, Ipecac, uh, the Shovel, and the Bible. Those are the only outlawed items here. So speaking of which, there's the Bible for... Oh, wow. That was nasty. So speaking of which, you can re-roll any of those items. Gambit just came across a Bible in the God Room, which we've seen oh so many times, and it just re-rolled into the Bible. Again. <laughs> so he just got Christina's luck there. So the third time was not the charm. So by the way, those that don't know, Gambit has found Bibles twice in God Rooms like that and re-rolled it with his D6. The One of the five items you can re-roll. He's found him twice on two different runs and re-rolled that into a Sacred Heart both times beforehand. So this time he got screwed over by comparison. Oh, man. You're like, oh, God, I actually got excited. <laughs> the taco. <laughs> wow. Unfreaking believable That's insane. So all the Bibles we've seen tonight, like, of all things, it re-rolls into another Bible. Because we totally haven't seen that happen. Yeah, there's Christina with the, I have no idea what you mean. <laughs> no, you can pick up the Bible and put it back down. Because you don't think about it in the middle of a race. Like, chances are he's not going to come across it again. Think about how many items you have that are going to spawn as opposed to that. So you're not always thinking about it. It's a lot about time, too. Nice usage of the Unicorn Horn, actually. Barely ever seen that used that way by uh, what Morag just did there, but as you're invincible, you can actually use rooms like that. So again, there is the Book of Revelations on Morag's side. That's actually one soul heart. Uh, I think it's every six rooms. It's four or six rooms, I forgot which. He's going to say no thanks to that, hang on to his money, and keep on searching. Probably, there we go. He's going to say probably going to find a secret room there. Yeah, whopping three cents again. He's had pretty good luck in his secret rooms on this run, though, so he really can't argue. It is six rooms. Okay. Alright, so Gambit working his way on through. If he stays far enough away, those will never shoot at him here. Yeah, like I just said, he can pick it up and do that. We just saw that in the last run, too, but yeah, I literally just said that they're allowed to do that. Yeah, anything you can do like that in Eastie, completely legal. Um, basically, the only things that you can't do are pick up the outlawed items. Um, other than that, yeah, it's all fair game. Uh, only other thing, like we just saw in the last round, too. Um, let's say that you've got the, um, I can't think of their names, the, uh, the Dead Sea Scrolls. Uh, and it gives you a usage of something like the shovel, like Morag had. Uh, he actually took the uh, the way down. It didn't matter, though. Uh, Gambo was already just finishing off his mom's heart fight. Uh, but nonetheless, he took the way down off of that uh, through the uh, the shovel usage. Uh, that would be about the only other thing that you're not allowed to do. Um, anything else, uh, if you have expendable bombs, like Morag's got 13 bombs, if he wanted to, he could bomb through doors with that. That is the reason we outlawed uh, Epic Fetus, Dr. Fetus, and Ipecac. Uh, but let's say you get something like the uh, uh, Pyro 99 Bombs. You can use those absolutely any way you want to, because uh, those are expendable items. Yeah, right, time to buy that shop key. <laughs> All right, so Morag's found his boss fight here. He didn't, I was going to say, didn't have anywhere else he could have possibly gone here. 
So one more room and these two will be even yet again. So Gambit's got the literally one room advantage at this point. Again, that's also dependent on if Gambit is going to get his item room or not. So we'll have to see what happens here. Morag has found his already, so he gets green peep. Ugh. Also not a bro. I was going to say somewhere in here we're going to get the, uh, the unicorn horn usage. So you can see you actually have to back off and kind of ram into the enemy again with that. Uh, sometimes if you just stand still, it doesn't actually keep damaging him. So especially with this guy, you basically have to do that this way. Haha, <laughs> Duquette. Don't bring logic into hockey. Don't bring logic into hockey. There's no need for it. We haven't legitimately lost yet. So there's some more health up for Morag as he has actually finished off his boss fight first. And he'll be moving on to his depths floor. So he gets, ooh, Necropolis, the expansion version yet again. Yeah. Not what you want to see. Oh, wow, that actually didn't kill the one. Wow. The one champion uh, uh, bubble on the floor there actually didn't die. That's kind of amazing. Oh, yeah, I was bringing that up the other day. Uh, every uh, Final Fantasy game that's on PSN is actually half off right now, so, like, everything's five bucks. Like, all the old school ones. Including all the PSP games, like, everything, too. So, like, yeah, check that out if you haven't seen that. All right, so once again, four greed heads. Wow, there you go. <laughs> There's how you utilize the uh, the spikes. I was just about to say something about that, too, and Morag actually got lucky enough that one of the greed heads jumped directly into the spikes. So lo and behold, you can actually draw them over just like this, and you don't actually have to fire at them, believe it or not. Now, once you get it down low enough, you can probably go after them, and probably should. But you have to be careful as you go back to the other side of the room. There you are. There it goes. Okay, now he's going to clear it with ease. Especially if that one actually does something stupid like it's just about to. There it is. Wow, that Greed Head was dumb. <laughs> that was freaking dumb. Anywho, wow, good thing that there were bombs and something else that would actually bomb for Morag in that room. Because once again, those are actually uh, run-ending rooms sometimes. If you don't have bombs in this room, and let's say that you either accidentally take out that green guy first... Or uh, that green guy doesn't exist and they're just red ones again. Yeah, you're you're hosed. You're absolutely hosed at that point. Uh, Legend of Dragoon was always five bucks, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so once again, the loading screen for Full Metal Gambit. Oh boy, <laughs> here we go again. There goes that evenness that we had. So much loading time. Let's see if he at least winds up at the XL floor this time, though. That might actually be a huge help for him if that were the case. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he gets a Curse of the Labyrinth on uh, Necropolis, so he's going to get a few extra uh, rooms here. Ooh, and speaking of even runs, check this out. Unicorn Horn. Totally haven't seen that being used over on the other side. I think Gambit's actually considering taking that D6 again. Or he's doing something else at the moment. Yeah, Demexels. Ah, he was typing to somebody. That's what he was doing. So, Morag haven't already found his boss fight. We'll see how he plays the rest of this. Ooh, my. So yeah, that was a bad timing on that explosion, let alone with the uh, uh, unicorn horn running off. Or wearing off, I should say. Nice dodging so far, but about a little under halfway to go on Loki. Ah, with half hour to go now for Morag. Eesh. Oh, no. And walks into damage. Down goes Morag. No. Back to square one. So again, for those who don't know, if you die in this game, you lose all your items and all that progress. So you're all the way back to square one. Oh, painful. So again, that gives a huge lead to Full Metal Gambit, who is on a uh, Necropolis floor here. So again, thinking about that, he is uh, looking for his mom's heart fight. Yeah, that is ouch, just on that timing. That is ouch timing. But again, it's already found his uh, boss fight here. So Morag with that Guardian Angel, that's a double speed orbital. So you see it's spinning at twice the speed that Gambit's uh, um, Cuban Meat, can think of the name. Uh, you see that spinning twice the speed, basically, the Gambit's does. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, right, Otaku, can you call Sacred Heart for more ag right now? Like, at least that way it won't cuss the game out in his sleep tonight. <laughs> like, nope, can't do it. <laughs> the number of Sacred Hearts in here is too damn many. I call Mom's knife, it'd probably be easier, quite honestly. So, ouch, that little mini spider catching up with Morag again. Yeah, there's gonna be cussing. There is cussing. <laughs> I can already imagine. We can't hear his audio at the moment, but if you want to, you can head on into the game fetch link here. Just in case, but I would assume there will be cussing later. A poly brim? Ooh, poly knife would be ridiculous. That would be ridiculously fun. Now, poly anything really is kind of fun. Any combination of any overpowered item along with Polyphemus. Oh, man. Yeah, you might as well just, like, write in the... Eh, well, I got a win on that one. <laughs> Brimstone plus knife? Uh, don't think so. Not quite the same. <laughs> Ravage here. <laughs> Ooh, Poly lasers, good times. So there's a little bit of range up for Morag that he says no thanks to. You saw him accidentally hit E instead of R. So he laid that bomb and then reset. That's how, usually how I know when the uh, the resets are coming in. Ooh, nice, Ataku. Yeah, what's up, Nemo? You actually able to see today? Now, if you get both the lasers, they both fire, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. There you go. So yeah, it's one's constantly out, and then the other one's, you know, pew, tune, 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 like constantly firing on top of that, so. Oh yeah, I played Isaac quite a bit on cast. I'm just basically burnt out from having the league constantly going on. Like, there's enough Isaac on cast already. I like playing other stuff, too. But yeah, I put over 800 hours into Isaac. Hi, cat. Yeah. Bloodless gone? You don't look like you want to kill me anymore. Hmm, questionable. The cat may still have that bloodlust. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. That look now says, <laughs> that's what you think, human. What? Hi. Come here. It's holding you up. Ugh, book us in for Morag. Jeez Louise. Can you get any random luck on this? Any random luck? Yes, passes it. Wow. So again, can Morag get any luck? That was the holy water, by the way, which is terrible. Can you lay down, dude? You're gonna fall again, and you're gonna claw the shit out of me. So just lay down. Just, just lay down. You're fine. You're fine. Lay down. Oh my god, dude. Chill out. You're fine. You should see this. He looks like a crack addict. Dude, seriously. This is not ice. You're on a human. This is not ice. It is not slippery. Chill out. Wow. Dude, seriously, he looked like I threw him in the fucking bathtub and he couldn't swim. Like, that's what you were just doing. You need to chill out, man. My god. Just walk like a normal cat. You'll be just fine. And, like, for example, have you ever seen, like, video of, like, a moose on ice? That's basically what it looked like. It was just paws and legs going everywhere for a second. And what is a normal cat? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, if you hold down R, you uh, do that fast reset. So let's see, more ag this time getting little Steven. Yeah, I was going to say that might be another reset incoming. Uh, no thanks to that one. He gets the basement one this time. There we go. Now he'll be off and running again. Or he says screw that one and resets. Seriously, what is wrong with you, dude? What is wrong with you tonight, cat? You're so weird. Oh, you want to purr at him? Sorry, I'm trying to get the cat to purr at you there. He was pretty close to the uh, to the mic, but I'm sure that wasn't audible. Yeah, Isaac does not like Morag tonight. Like, seriously. Oh my god, wow. Oh, the hourglass. I guess he's actually going to take it. Yeah, right. Everybody hit up the game fetch link and go hug Morag. 
Like, seriously. Damn, these resets. Like, he has no choice either. Like, these items are terrible. Just terrible, terrible item luck so far. There we go. Really hard to type with the cat on you. Yes, it is. If that loads up. There we go. So, at least uh, more I got usage out of the... Uh, uh, oh, I can't think of the name now. Wow. Out of the hourglass. It's like the time thing. The sand time thing. Days of our lives. Wait, no, hold on. Damn it. It's the other word in that intro. Uh, hourglass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so Gambit. Uh, I was going to say it's going to be a little too close to that explosion. So he's down to, I can't quite tell, it's either one and a half or two and a half hearts. Morag moving on to his basement too, gets the cellar floor yet again. See, so cat, everything's all good now. Ah, it actually restricts certain stuff, that sucks. What's up, Shuri? How you doing? Ooh, that cheap damage on Morag's side. Oof. Again, that cheap damage on Morag's side. Ouch. Alright, so... Morag's actually gonna take the two pennies that he has and gamble a little bit. Yeah, he knows Steven lives, except Steven died a second or two ago to him. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, so nothing good in there. Still needing some keys. Ah, that was close enough. I was going to say that bomb was close enough. Morag didn't even have to lay that one down, but oh well, too late. Man, he's getting a lot of bomb enemies in here. This cat is going nuts for this petting. You like the fact that I can cast and not have to uh, or be able to pet you at the same time, don't you? Don't you, cat? You just wait. We'll have 24-hour cam for you. We'll have a 24-hour cast of just you. Just you. For those that don't know, for the uh, 15,000 follower celebration, sometime around the playoffs, which is coming up in like two weeks, uh, which is a three-week-long span, so <laughs> we'll figure it out sometime during that, but I'll do a 24-hour spaz cam for you guys. I'll find a way to keep them near the camera, or at least attempt to. Yeah, exactly, Ravager. Let alone that there were two total. And both have gone three games, for that matter. Ah, yeah, that's the part that you ripped open, Cat. Yeah, that does hurt. That does hurt. And now it burns because you wiped your nose on it. Ow! Alright, so Bob's Curse for Full Metal Gambit is his last item that he's going to pull. <clears throat> Excuse me, I take that back. That's only one of two item rooms here, because he does have an XL floor. So I'd take that back. There will be one more. Uh, however, that gives him... Ah, um, uh, boy, I can't even think anymore. Uh, that gives him poison damage on uh, bombs. Speaking of bomb runs tonight, Mr. Boom yet again shows up, and Morag has that. He's going to take the hourglass instead. Because Morag's got a ridiculous computer. He's got a he's got the same one I do, except that he's got overclocking on his uh on his processor and he's got a way, way better video card than I do. So I can do that too, but I don't think he's even running it at 60 frames a second, which wouldn't matter all that much on this game. But even so, like on the better processor you have, the better it's gonna react with flash. So like even on mine, like it runs really smooth. So it looks pretty much the same as Morax does, quite honestly. Hey, equals crumps beware. <laughs> But yeah, it's all about the computer at that point. But yes, we know Gambit's is slower, folks. Thank you for pointing out the blatantly fucking obvious, because it isn't taking up half the screen. Yes, we know. Chill out about it. He is playing on a laptop. He also has crappy internet. Nothing you can do. If you guys want to buy him a new computer so that that looks better, feel perfectly free. You can head on over to his channel and donate to him. Other than that, really ain't anything we can do about it, guys. 
So I'd say move on. Like you realize in the last two hours I've had to explain that at least seven times. <laughs> Gambit equals Neo. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, I put too much emphasis on that. I put way too much emotion behind that. Whoa. There we go. That was closer. Oh, I know, but when it gets brought up that often, then I have to keep making mention of it, because otherwise then the rest of the chat will, like, turn into, like, yeah, why is this so slow? Man, that looks like shit, blah, 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 blah. So it just turns into the same thing over and over again, so I would just say don't even bring it up. Oh, yeah, I've got an i7-3770K. Sorry about that. Totally forgot to answer your question there, Wicked, but Ataka beat me to it by a few seconds anyways. But, yeah, same one. He's got his overclocked at, I think, like, 4-2? Some ridiculous amount like that. Like, he really overclocked the crap out of his. Mine's still at base stats, so... His is still better than mine, by far. Like, he's got a way better computer. Oh, it's a badass one, isn't it, Mazin? Like, seriously, it does so good. Just does so good. I forget, he might even be doing stock... I forget what he has for his cooler. Oh no, the mask of infamy. And see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, I know, Nemo. I was, I've responded to you on that one twice already. I know. That's what I'm talking about. Like, it, it, we got it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm sorry for that, but we, we got it. <sighs> see what I mean? See what I mean, guys? Like, this is where it just degrades into, like, complete fucking morons all of a sudden here. So, yeah, go ahead, morons. Bring it out. Because you're just going to get instantaneously banned. <laughs> so bring out the stupid. Go full-on retard and prove to yourself why you shouldn't. Feel free. And this is why one of the rules says don't incite stupid arguments and stupid discussions in my chat room. Because this shit happens. Oh no, another death for Morag as he gets cornered by that bomb. Oh, that was a trolly time to shoot that tear. Help us help you, <laughs> Christina. <laughs> oh my god. I haven't heard that in quite a while. Help us help you. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, because we're in this video, it's probably because we're all vampires secretly. Somehow, someway, I think we're all vampires, quite honestly. <laughs> uh, will the league cover that as well? Uh, this league's going to be over before that comes out, like way, way before that ever comes out. Uh, the second league may still be going on during that time. Uh, I'm not really 100% sure yet because I don't know when I'm going to schedule it. Uh, but we'll wind up doing another league at that point with, uh, because again, it's going to be, you know, when it's on PC or whatever, but we'll deal with it then. But we got to see what all we actually have to do with it too, because there is going to be stuff changed. So, you know, we can't just like all of a sudden like switch it out and like, okay, now we're playing this. How's up, Obey? How you doing? Yeah, exactly, and everybody would have to have a capture card, which is that much more involved, so yeah, it's it's basically going to be like its own separate league at that point. So basically, like, we're never going to, like, change partway through the season and like, oh, okay, now we're going to do Isaac, and you can use your D6, or, ah, we're doing Kane runs. Like, playoff time's a little bit different, but yeah, during the regular season, everything stays exactly the same. Like, people keep asking, like, oh, cool, how can I get in on the league? Like, you know, how do you join an NFL league in the middle of the season? You kind of can't. But yeah, we're keeping all that the same, so... On to his wound one, by the way, is Full Metal Gambit, so with a rather large lead at this point... By the way, I was gonna say Gambit, I was just about to point that out. Never mind, it's like you read my mind, dude. I just saw that as it went dark there, like, oh shit, his mouse is on screen. But he saw it, never mind, shutting up. 
Ooh, and he gets an XL floor, too. So he's looking for back-to-back -back boss fights. So he's going to cram two floors together into one here. Very nice find on the womb. That's always a handy thing. By the way, if you really need to get your womb no-hit achievement, this is the floor to do it on. Not the utero version, though, mind you. So he's got a utero XL, so that is the expansion version. But still... Christina, how do I eat the slice of pizza that you are currently eating? Because I would like to eat said slice of pizza. <laughs> yes, but we all know that the way to buy me off is either with food or money. <laughs> Usually the, the word buy and money go hand in hand. I'm just going to point that out subtly and leave it at that. Yeah. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, hint, hint. <laughs> yes, I'm totally kidding, by the way. I will not take, like, you know, oh, okay, well, you know, you want to be in, so yeah, you're in. Like, we're, we're, you'll see when we get the information out there, we're, we're not going to make it just like, we'll have signups, you know, we'll have some randomness to it. it it's not just going to be like, okay, first 10 people that sign up are in. <laughs> oh, God, people are plotting. <laughs> well, you know, I'm just saying, it might still work. Cough, cough, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Just saying. No, I'm kidding. No, there's not going to be any more expansions on Isaac. Uh, basically, I've heard Edmund uh, talking about what happened. <laughs> Morag's just having fun with it now. Uh, but anyways, uh, Edmund's talked about it, and basically this game is pushed all the way to the limits of Flash. Like, even when they turned on... Um, um, oh my god, I can't think of his name. almost called him Tommy, too. Um, dear lord. Uh, Florian, uh, the programmer. Um, or the, uh, the other guy helping him here, the programmer. Uh, basically, like, was capping out his computer when he tried to actually do anything with this. So, like, I, it's this game, it's a miracle it runs at this point. So, no more expansions on this version. Uh, but what they're going to do is they're doing uh, Binding of Isaac Rebirth, uh, basically redoing the whole game, and it won't be in Flash. Uh, so a lot more can be done, and they'll actually be able to expand on that. Yeah, exactly. Wrath of the Lamb's technically unfinished because of Flash issues. So technically speaking, there should be more in there, but they can't do it. And it's amazing that we got it on release day, for that matter. Like, Edmund was saying, like, oh, yeah, dude, like, you guys are so lucky it actually works. Like, you, like, you have no idea. He's like, this is down to the last minute, and, like, things did not work, and, like, achievements still don't work, but we'll do that. And, like, it was a mess at first, he said. Yeah, local co-op does sound rather interesting. I'm, I'm kind of really waiting to see about that. That, that could be kind of cool. I know, like, I'm kind of curious. I think that would be kind of cool, football. Like, all right, whoever gets there first actually gets the item room. Or, like, you know what I mean? Like, whoever gets uh, through the, or to the boss first has to fight it, or, you know, something like that. Like, who knows? I mean, you could have all sorts of craziness involved with that, so... I'm, knowing Edmund, there's going to be some nuttiness to it. Absolutely solid. Absolutely. But yeah, this will be the uh, the last of the Isaac races tonight. Uh, the next scheduled one that we have is on Saturday at, oh, let me get the time right, 6 p.m. Eastern uh, between uh, Fat Shuffler and uh, Eddie Ruckus. Uh, so that'll be on Saturday. We'll, we'll also have two other races coming up this week at some point, though they are not scheduled yet. Uh, and then uh, that will be week 10 taken care of, at which point we'll have one more regular season week, and then it's on to the playoffs. Uh, so quite a few of the uh, the matchups coming up have huge playoff implications. Uh, for example, uh, next week's Chitia versus Eddie Ruckus matchup uh, is pretty huge as far as uh, standings go. Chitia's dormy right now, though. If she wins or anybody else loses, she's in. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, she and Eddie Ruckus are fighting for that last spot, and it may come down to that last week, so we'll have to see. Even at that point in uh, the... Re or in the uh, uh, division that Gambit and Morag are both in. Uh, it's coming down to, uh, let's see, Magic, or I'm sorry, uh, Morag and uh, Gambit, I think I said that wrong. Uh, it's coming down to uh, Fat Shuffler and Magic for the last playoff spot, too, so that's going to get interesting as well. Ah, there we go. So Morag's proven the point here of how you actually pick up those in the right order. So you pick up the Dead Cat first and then the other, and you'll still be alive. Wow, bad trip, pill. That's just, this game is slapping Morag in the face tonight. Like, for real, this game just hated on him after winning there. Just, wow. 
I, I, I feel I like I need to buy more egg a drink. Like, seriously. Like, if I could buy more egg a drink right now, I would. If you have a donation button open, I will literally pay for a drink tonight for you, Morag. <laughs> a sale. <laughs> it just means you care. That's all it means. It just means you care. <laughs> and that's not a bad thing, believe me. But yeah, Morag's sitting here with two cat items at the moment. Mind you, it might be a little too late. If Gambit finds his two boss fights, it may be too little too late, depending on who he has to face. But we'll see here. Remember, never count Morag out. He is the man who made a 20-minute comeback against Eddie Ruckus. Mind you, that was blue candle-induced, but still. All right, so the Ankh, once again, will bring you back to life as the blue baby if you die. Right on, Christina. Have a good night, and congrats again. Very nice win earlier, but have yourself a good night. Oh, dude, go with the rolls. Go with the rolls. That's not even a question, Zale. Rolls. Totally the rolls. By the way, once again, we're back around to the uh, uh, music not part of Binding of Isaac. So, yeah, enjoy the Hotline Miami one song that's in here. But nonetheless, enjoy that. Ah, there's that health back from Morag, so he's back up to that one red heart now. And probably not going to be... Wow, I'll be damned. He is actually going to take Spirit of the Night. So he almost wishes, I bet, at this point that he went in there beforehand. Because that uh, kind of wasted that one extra heart. But nonetheless, he's got Spirit of the Night. And he can now fly and has uh, Spectral Tears. So once again, down to uh, no hearts on this. So if he gets hit, he will lose one of those lives. What's up, Humble? How you doing? Uh, the Ankh uh, comes first, I believe, if you die. And then it, it turns you back the next time you die at the cost of one of your cat lives into Isaac again. I believe. But it will definitely switch you back at one point. I believe it's the Ankh first, though. So let's see, only so many more places Gambit can be. Good lord, so many people's birthdays, what the hell? Say what? How did I not know this? Yeah, we're still playing Nino Kuni. I got uh, three more achievements to or three more uh, trophies to get for the Platinum. So we're really close to finishing that off. Oh, there goes that one life. So there we go. There's your answer. Uh, the Ankh goes in first. The Liberty Cap is what gave Morag that one extra Soul Heart, which, as you can see, he actually got to keep. That's actually, wow, I never thought about that. Liberty Cap and being able to go in and out of rooms on the Blue Baby. Wow, I never thought about that. That's the Tia Bow. That's Tia Bow. I had no idea. Well, in that case, happy birthday, sis. Jeez. I had no freaking idea. <laughs> Camp it. <laughs> Love the reaction. What the fuck? <laughs> that pickaxe. That reaction. All I gotta say to that one. I uh, love it. Gambit got the pickaxe there and was not happy about it, so that, that, that was the reaction of like, are you fucking kidding me? I don't want that piece of shit. <laughs> Neither, actually. It was just that pickaxe showing up. Wow. Yet another one I guarantee you he wants absolutely no part of. Yeah, that not-so-OP pickaxe. <laughs> But yeah, one of the things I never thought of, I guess. So one of the things that... Wow, and speaking of those pills. Morag will actually take that, see what he gets really quick. Oh, two luck down pills. He's going to try to pick up these pills. There we go. Now he's got a little bit of room. That's going to be close. Wow, that was close. Ooh, balls of steel. Made this well worth it, even though he just took two hits there. Uh, three hits. Make that even. 
Oh, wow, Transcendence, so Morag gets to fly again. Not that he wasn't flying already. So, wow, interesting, uh, interesting run for Morag on this one. So again, though, uh, as I was trying to make the point, uh, with Liberty Cap, uh, the ability to go in and out, so like the uh, I've seen everything classes, and then um, uh, I can't think of the word, uh, being the blue baby. Uh, when you get those, uh, uh, sometimes you're going to go in, you're going to get the all stats up mushroom, so you're going to get one extra heart out of that. As blue baby, that's a soul heart. You actually get to keep that. So that's interesting. You can actually cheat the hell out of it right there by just walking back in and out until you keep getting that same effect over and over and over again until you have infinite health. I almost never thought about that, so... Hmm. Another way to exploit those. <laughs> but again, for those wondering, yes, that would actually be legit in the league because if you want to take the time to do it, more power to you. It worked for Morag earlier. Yeah, it takes forever to get it again. No question. Like, it would take forever. Yeah, just no one talked. It was just nobody talking for a few seconds there. So let's see. Gambit running out of places that he can actually find this boss fight. At this point, he may want to actually just kill that. Yeah, he's going to say the hell with it and leave. So, down on, he's got an arcade with more than enough money. This <laughs> past blood. <laughs> Alright, so a little bit of gambling, a little bit of healing going on for Gambit. Once again, getting the luck enough to find a uh, uh, an arcade on his utero floors. Uh, wow. How the hell? Okay, oh, Morag's flying over a rock. I was like, how the hell is he right there? And how the hell did he take damage then? Weird. I guess he was just barely off of that rock. I couldn't see it, though. So, two more soul hearts to replace what he just lost. Uh, two tears up. Yeah, there you go. Morag's gonna prove the point now. Morag's gonna prove this point now. So, again, notice how he hasn't gotten a single one of those to fire yet. Because it is random that you're actually gonna get that mushroom. Yeah, I didn't get it once. Case in point. No, that's one of the three achievements I need, Soldier. I'm going to need to finish all the merit quests. Well, so basically all the side quests for merit points. Um, what else? Uh, so that's a lot of farming right there. i got to finish S-Rank in the Solosseum. And I've got... Uh, what's the other one I need? Um, I'm spacing now. What is the other one? Duh. Something else. Crap, now I don't remember. There's one other one. I can't remember what it is. Wow, Morag only gets a Necropolis out of that loading error. Interesting. Ah, the Alchemy one, doing 120 Alchemy recipes. Thank you. I knew there was another one. But that's all I got left, and we're about 60, I think, percent of the way through the uh, the Alchemy recipes. So we should be decent. Man, pretty decent. It's a matter of doing the uh, the farming for all of the other quests, because uh, there are a lot of other Alchemy stuff that you get from that. So I kind of have to do both of those in unison. All right, so with that damn near full heal, there's Gambit's boss fights. I knew he'd find him sooner. Well, like he, that, there was nowhere else to look. So there's his two boss fights. So you'll see back-to-back -back boss fights here for Gambit, but he is looking to close this out with a two-to-one win tonight if he can take out these next two bosses. So again, good luck to both racers nonetheless, but Gambit two rooms away from possibly winning this here. And with this dying, let's find out who his first boss is going to be. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about the uh, clearing my throat again. Uh, let's see, death. Uh, Alright. Not necessarily who you want to see, but it could be a little bit worse. That could have been conquest. Could be worse. So that's death actually using the... Oh yeah, I forgot Gambit's got a uh, wiggle worm. So now you can actually see it. He's had that since caves. I kind of forgot he had it the whole time. Yeah, right, Morik wants that soul hard. <laughs> Full. All right, so, oh, I was going to say trying to dodge those. I thought he had a pretty good line on that, but those actually caught up and closed in on him. Those, uh, those sites, not so much fun. Also, ow. That horse flying around, too. Not a real bro. What it will do, though, to be a bro is actually take out these knights. Just like that. 
that's why you take the uh, the actual main guy out first in this fight. It is a pain to dodge the uh, the horse, but even so, it will be a bro in that aspect for you. So you always want to take out the main guy first. Let the horse do its work for you. Because if there you go, one of them got taken out. Those knights are going to take longer to kill than almost anything else, quite honestly. Yeah, I've tried FTL. I haven't done too much of it, though. It's basically just been the tutorial. Alright, so on to the Ellipse fight. Gambit, like I said, looking to close this out at 2-1 to one here tonight. Uh, again, Morag's been getting uh, raffle trolled, quite honestly, by this game right now. Like, he's he needs a drink. I think Morag needs a heavy, heavy, stiff drink. But nonetheless, uh, with that three-piece meat boy... Uh, oh god, here we go. Soccer Boy coming into effect. There you can see uh, Soccer Boy, Meat Boy, obviously, is actually quite the soccer player. Likes to kick your bombs across the room, so definitely watch out for that, folks. That is always an interesting, fun way to die. When Meat Boy kicks a bomb that you're not expecting right into your face. All right, so dropping some poison damage there. Oh, I'm sorry about the noise. Oh, God, speaking of poison damage, that green bloat from Morag. Ugh. Not who you want to see, but again, the uh, Necropolis, you get uh, tougher bosses sometimes, too. And case in point, champion green version of the bloat. Yeah. Uh, both eyes float around the room the whole time, and it's the bloat. Enough said. All right, so at about the... Oh, there we go. I was going to say at about the 50% mark here for... Uh, <laughs> wow. Morag does not want to go back into that fight. I almost guarantee you. He's just hoping the gamut finishes this. Like I said, there's Soccer Boy playing soccer again. Goal! Nonetheless, uh, about 50% of the way through the It Lives fight here for uh, Full Metal Gambit. Got seven bombs left. Still got Soccer Boy being the, uh, the little soccer douche that he is. I hate that he does that. So yet another uh, bloat fight for Morag. This time, not the green one, thankfully, so just a regular version. But again, many floors behind here. He is on Depths 1, uh, so he has Depths 2, Womb 1, and Womb 2 to get through. Uh, unless, again, he were to get an XL on the Womb, just like Full Metal did. But again, maybe just slightly too late. Yeah, it's always going to be bloat every time. Alright, so working pretty damn well through the... Ah, oh, I was going to say working pretty well through this, but his, uh, the timing on that Cuban meat just screwed him over there. So again, back outside. Normal bloat fight again, and he got out of the way this time. But again, too little too late as, ladies and gentlemen, Full Metal Gambit has taken out Mom's heart yet again for the second time and has come back from a one to nothing deficit to win the night 2-1. to one. So again, let me try that in English. Congrats to Full Metal Gambit, who has evened himself up at 5-5 five and five on the season. Uh, again, uh, wow, the trolling on Morag's end, like, it just, there is the green bloat again. Yeah, now he's just going to eat these nine deaths in, like, ten seconds. <laughs> Nonetheless, great job there by Full Metal. Seriously, phenomenal runs to...